हेलो एवरी वन हाव आर यू वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरी वन जस्ट लेट मी कन्फर्म विद वी आर लाइव और नॉट ओके आई जस्ट नीड टू कन्फर्म स्टूडेंट्स वेस जस्ट अ मिनट सो या लेट मी लेट मी कन्फर्म ओके सो विद एम आई लाइफ विद एम आई लाइफ सो हाव आई ऑल या सो या लाइव हो के चालू सो आई होप एवरी वन इज डूइंग वेल इनिशियली इन द फर्स्ट टू क्लासेस वी हैव अंडरस्टूड सम कॉन्सेप्ट अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ टेक्सेशन राइट द वे हाउ द पेपर इज बीन फॉर्मुलेटेड एंड द सेक्शन ए द सेक्शन बी सम इम्पॉर्टेंट क्राइटेरियाज विच वी नीड टू टेक केयर वाइल राइटिंग द पेपर्स how are we going to make the practice and the first topic which was again important was been understood by us so what was the first topic which was important so ma'am in the uh, taxation so there are not many topics right but we know that my sections my sections are bifurcated how my like section a will be for mcqs same goes with section b it is more or less all the objectives and at the end when i figured it out to section c It is containing three questions. So yeah, here we are today to present and to understand how are we going to solve question three. That is basically for section three. Okay. Before I go ahead, I would like to give a clear cut disclaimer, students, that if for the practice now, for the practice, if you all are practicing, like for example, I am doing some mocks, maybe. Okay, I am practicing some papers, as we know. that uh, exams are coming very near right so i would like to have a lot of practice so i thought chalo now why not to practice from the papers but students don't do this mistake it is a highly made mistake which the students tends up doing is what they do they analyze the paper they start solving they check their answer and compare it with the suggested right students the suggested and all are predated okay so it is something gone and we know the time which is over here we are supposed to understand finance act okay which is basically for a fiscal year so it's basically over here 2022 so 2022 we have to learn right and most of the answers and the questions which are like pre okay like it may be past papers it may be like uh, mock papers like which are of like a previous year na guys we should not follow that okay so then what are we going to do i am going to solve a paper like for us in which i have changed some questions maybe some years uh relevant to the fiscal year yeah some changes so yeah over here today our agenda is to practice questions that the last 40 marks paper consists of okay and we are going to solve the most latest paper latest paper means right like 2022 23 it has been came like the september december and all and guys why are we going to do that because questions may be predated i have changed it but that is what going to give us an idea like how are we going to write in the paper okay uh, like uh, i would be uh, telling you all guys just take these things into consideration the practitioners na the practam uh, like exam practice na you guys have to disclose and in each and every 40 mark the last question you all are supposed to write you all are supposed to write what all the working notes Say for example, I thought like okay, I calculated this much. Okay, I calculated this much. I got the figure. Maybe if that figure is wrong, so if I'm I'm continuing the format like in like I'm going ahead, 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 calculating some other things. So what it will be like one of my figure is wrong, then it's gone or what? So that we know like this is not the scenario as over here. If even one of the figure is like something is uh, maybe wrong, but still we are going to fetch the marks. Why? even the points marks are given right so we know that even for points even for correct answers even for working notes we are allotted marks so that is where i mostly prefer guys section c where we can score marks okay so no changes in the corporate tax we know that okay corporate tax means for the companies if there are any taxes which is liable or i can say like if you can broadly overview there are slabs or we can say it as a bands for individuals but when i talk about for the companies it is a clear cut situation that the companies are liable to pay a tax at the rate of 19 percentage 
So ma'am, is there any change for the corporation tax? So I will give you a good news. There is no such change. So whatever questions if you want to practice for the corporate tax, it is there in the course, which need not be amended. But when I talk about income tax, yeah, students, the change, there are eight changes. There are many other changes, but then the good news is that obviously in the paper we are available. Yeah, we do have the tax rates. So that is a very good news. So chalo, without wasting time, we are going to solve the paper. So I would like to ask you, is it literally important that we should know tax and taxes? Yeah. Even if I don't file the pay, uh, file the income tax, if I don't even file the income tax right now, like if I'm not filing UK taxation, but just by understanding this, it will give you a clear cut idea that in future, whenever you want to file the taxations, you will be clear with the base. We will be clear with the base. You will know Achha, what is an income, where to where, why not to where. So, okay. Um, as I told you, I have updated the paper. I would like just like to show you the paper. Huh? Just a minute. Okay. Again, when you have, uh, we are going into the uh, ACCA portal. Yeah, this is one of my favorite portal because I personally feel that I personally feel that whatsoever beautiful information we can fetch now we should get. No matter if it is an examiner's report. Why? In examiner's report, when you figure it out now, you will get to know where they are deducting the marks plus their common content means this is a common thing which students might end up to make the mistakes if we understand that just imagine for us how beneficial it would be like in our papers we will not make that mistakes so yeah even that is to be taken care of okay uh, i'm going and proceeding towards my acca portal i hope you guys can see it you are able to check i think it is visible but it's not is it yeah yeah okay again my favorite cbe platform we need to practice for the paper we'll go there i'll open my students id okay yeah
yeah actually it went up like a glitch so just i need to okay 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 so yeah obviously our paper that is taxation again uk 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 where is the uk yeah it's over here so then again official resources then today we are going to do the examination for our september december 2022 that is basically for us that is over here if you can check out now students over here it is september december 2022 which is our latest paper and i have already assigned to myself okay i will just show you i'll just show you once and then we can check out what are the changes which i have made so you all have to take these things into consideration okay i'll just write to start over here okay then again we know over here now when there are practice papers now so they are going to give us only four like last section c question why because we know mcqs to be found out it's difficult right it's difficult so there is a resource which we yesterday understood that in our acc resources after every chapter guys we do have quizzes right so that is to be analyzed okay now i am just showing you our portal over you see you assume today's date is 28th march 2021 okay if you can check out it's 2021 i have just changed it in our question accordingly i have made it 2022 and whatever relevant changes i wanted to make i have made it accordingly students see when you can check out this is a common question yeah this is a common question yeah this is a common question in which there are lot many things which we need to understand after reading this i have to figure out okay this is the first question that they have tested and over here now students they have allotted me a spreadsheet that means i have to work on spreadsheet understanding i have to work on spreadsheet my answer is to be presented on spreadsheet once i am done with a again the question will be same for b also the scenario is same because over here it requires three statements over here i am provided with b and c cool over here there is a spreadsheet if i want yeah like i can answer on my own okay if i go down whenever i want i can write it okay so students what am i expecting you all to practice is this questions and all right over here i am not going to write it over here we i i have made it my own statement because over here there are certain changes which we were supposed to make okay so yeah i just scrolled it down so students this is what i just wanted to tell you yeah we are going to do this questions okay i hope you understood this chalo let us start let us start always keep in mind students that you should be available with these things so ma'am what are the things which we should be available with guys okay, so we should always be available with that relevant rates right because i know to remember all the rates is not easy along with that if we are provided over here with the rates we will we have to work smart right it is not something like uh, we have to work hard work no 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 ma'am we have to know things but then when we are already being provided then it's okay that we can just have a glance okay so what it is where it is where am i going to understand where what things am i going to get so again students before going ahead now students we should have these things in our mind Yeah, which I showed you yesterday also, maybe in our second uh, class also. So yeah, these are some rates and allowances and all the things which we should be available with. See, in every question, na, I am going to show you from where you are going to figure out the answers. Okay, so I'm just minimizing the things and yeah, let us start with our first question for the day. Okay, I hope everyone is fine. Yeah, so this is my first question, which I have tested it from September, December, twenty twenty two, twenty three. But then, guys, sudden along with sudden changes. Okay, so let us begin with the first question. So yeah, this was the first thing which is written in the question paper. That is, the scenario consists of three requirements. Guys, when it will be three requirements, there will be three position where they are going to answer. That means they would like us to give a solution in the three bases. Three bases means like for part one, for part two, for part three. Okay, but. the very better thing is that yeah we know the case scenario is going to be the same so okay let us go ahead and read first what is the case scenario okay let us read it over here you should assume that today's date is 28th march 2022 cool 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 so basically they are talking about maybe 20 223 so yeah our finance act is going to applicator the alisa is employed okay so now we need to read it we are going to read it very slowly and along with the readings we know we are going to cope up with the as i told you 
that I'm not just going to like complete things as I told you okay one 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 thing we are going to learn and accordingly whatever other relevant transaction whatever related statements now we are going to understand that too like for example Alisa is employed by Tusk Limited okay so who is the employer over here so Tusk Limited is an employer over here Alisa is a employee so yeah over here this is my employee now, this is my employee I need to now find out whose income I want to test. Is it the employer or is it the employee? Let's see. Alisa is employed by Tusk Limited and is currently paid a gross annual salary of £60,000. Guys, when we understand that she is being paid £60,000, my first concept over here should hit that over here. I should understand that Alisa is the person or the like a girl or the taxable person whose income whose income is greater than the first band that means whose greater whose income is greater than the normal basic tax return payers right so we should just analyze this after seeing this i should know that oh yeah ma'am, my income is greater than 37 double zero so maybe i'll be falling under a higher tax slab right i'll be falling under a higher how oh, yeah a higher slab rate yeah so okay what i can do is i can just write like this okay so it is obvious that we are falling under a higher tax rate so maybe there could be a situation that i might pay more tax if i'm paying more tax that is more than 37 700 yeah that is that means i may suppose to pay not 20 percentage but 40 percentage tax yeah you know so uh, where will i find ma'am yeah again i told you that sheet should be available with you all so which sheet yes the sheet in which the tax rates are mentioned okay so we know 0 to 3 double seven double zero it's 20 percentage 3 double seven zero one to 150 it's 40 percentage so yes ma'am over here Al alisa falls under this tax rate cool 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 so over here i can just make everything in uh, statement in bold maybe so that we can easily figure it out yeah so over here higher tax rate if it is higher tax rate then obviously it will be 40 percentage right cool so yeah okay it will be 40 percentage because it is more than the salary is more than 37 700 and under 150 cool so i got the first thing clear so yeah and again they have returned she is therefore a higher tax rate payer and alisa do not have other income so that's cool so the first thing i understood that okay what have they asked us Tusk Limited has offered Alisa the choice of either being provided with a motor car or alternatively receiving an increased salary and also being paid a mileage allowances for using her private motor car, motor car, motor car, motor car. Students, remember something which is known as motor car? Yeah, 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 ma'am. There are some guidance we know. When I'm talking about motor car, what are the things, ma'am, which will be provided to me in the paper? If I show you about the motor car, I think it is visible. Yeah, yeah, okay. See, income beyond this was being taxed at the rate of 40 percentage. Yeah, so that ma'am we understood. Students about motor car, car benefits if my car level or is something which emits this much grams or if it is having a grams per kilometer, that is basically 51 to 54 grams per then 15 percentage is the rate that we need to apply if it is more than 55 percentage per kilometer then it is 16 percentage which has been revised guys which has been revised which has been changed we need to take care of that the percentage of some electric car the car fuel benefit or oh, the base fuel benefit like if if any of the employee is getting a direct benefit of the fuel then though 25 300 is a pure cut scenario which is given yeah okay so this are some mileage also approved mileage so if an individual is getting up to 10,000 miles so 45 pence is to be allotted yeah so they will be getting some approval or else some allowances also so let us now understand what are the question they have tested okay let's figure it out the question so why am i showing you all this because it is there so because it is there so things becomes easy for you so for you i have to understand on cash salary normally what we get on the cash salary normally what we get okay if i just understand this much for the first part for the first part when i talk about salary guys 
you should be sure that if you are getting something extra if you are getting something extra my first year salary was 16 but over here they have written she may be paid alternatively receiving an increase in the salary alternatively means she can either get the motor car she can either get a receive increase in the salary if there is an increase in the salary what do you think what can happen this is what i have just mentioned it to right okay if you are having an increase in the salary guys what could have happened what could be the alternative on the cash salary we know on the cash salary if i'm getting what are we supposed to calculate yes we are supposed to calculate class one employee nic right yes 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 and what are the rates for class one employee so we know if it ranges between one one to twelve five seventy it's zero percentage even that is available 12 12 570 250 270 it will be 13.25 percentage if it is more than 50 to 70 then it is going to go uh, above that is 3.25 band and we know like some of the additional things are there over here so i can write it over here on on cash on the cash salary like whatever i feel okay we can compute we can compute Okay, what can I do now? It's better I'll write like this. I'll better write like this. In the solution part now, we can make like this. See, this is what am I doing, you know. Just for our practice purpose over here. Just for my practice purpose, I'm writing. This is not something which we need to write in the paper, guys. Huh? So, test limit is offered a choice, right? Okay, if they have offered a choice, this is my solution. This is my solution. This is my solution. So, what I need to understand is for this first solution, and make everything bold so that aapko easily dikhega. okay the first i have i knew that alisa is having a higher salary right alisa is having a higher salary cool which is basically more than like more than my normal salary so it's basically three double seven double zero see more but lesser than 150 yeah so right so basically i understood that okay 40 percentage slab rate will be applicable yeah 40 percentage base rate or uh, the level a slab rate is applicable okay so first thing to i understood that okay higher paying salary and this was clear for the first now what about second situation if i forget down second maybe i can get uh, maybe i can get additional salary maybe i can get some motor car maybe i can get some other benefits so what is that the first thing if i'm getting additional salary if alisa and since if, if Alicia, if Alicia is getting, let's say, cash salary. Guys, if she is getting cash salary, we know something more we are going to compute. So, we compute, we need to compute class 1 benefit, right? Class 1 employee NIC, guys. If, but then you remember if it is only cash students if it is only cash yeah i know you guys know that yeah only cash the uh, the one who are actually having examinations right now i though i'm expecting that you all know what is cash and how are we going to ca calculate the class one employee so for that now students i will not write each and everything now i will show you what are the things which are available okay if that you know now the tax rates are available in the question if that are available what can i do i can just show you all i can just show you all right and yeah obviously there will be one more thing which i can do is i can just copy and paste so things happens what you know you will be pretty sure that all these things will be available to you all and i'm going to make it on and on so that uh, that will be more beneficial for us yeah this is what i i i normally tend up doing in the class also i'll just show you all the benefits over here class one benefits if i'm checking it out if it is nic over here uh, I think you will not mind if I paste it over here. Okay, yeah, just I'm copied it and I'll paste it over here with it. You can see Yeah, okay, I think it is visible now Okay, I'll just make it very small <laughs> Why it went so big I don't know it's going to go so big seriously so then it will not be possible for me to copy paste everything no 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 it's okay then it's better that i'll write only okay so class one now over here it's provided in the question which is 
क्लास वन ओके दैट इज एम्प्लॉय इट्स एम्प्लॉय का ही सुनो ना देर आर द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एम्प्लॉय एंड द एम्प्लॉयर या आई शो यू वंस या इफ यू कैन चेक या ओ बी एम्प्लॉय इट्स वन टू ट्वेल्व फाइव सेवेंटी राइट इट्स वन टू ट्वेल्व फाइव सेवेंटी बेसिकली इट्स नल ओ बी यो इट्स मोर देन ट्वेल्व फाइव सेवेंटी वन टू फिफ्टी टू सेवेंटी इट्स थर्टीन पॉइंट ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड बियॉन्ड दैट इट्स थ्री पॉइंट ट्वेंटी फाइव ओ बी यो वॉट इज माई सिचुएशन ओके वन ट्वेल्व फाइव सेवेंटी इट्स जीरो परसेंट या देन ट्वेल्व फाइव सेवेंटी पाउंड्स थ्री फिफ्टी टू सेवेंटी इट्स बेसिकली थर्टीन पॉइंट ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट एंड ओवर यर इट वुड बी थ्री पॉइंट ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट इफ एनीथिंग इज बियॉन्ड फिफ्टी टू सेवेंटी सो दिस इज वॉट आई हैव ऑलरेडी टाइप इन अवर आंसर या ओके सो दैट बिकम्स अ सिचुएशन बट ओवर यर वी नो ऑलरेडी आई हैव गॉट आई एम हैविंग माई ओन सैलरी ऑफ सिक्सटी थाउजेंड इफ आई एम गेटिंग एनीथिंग बियॉन्ड सो आई नॉर्मली टेंड अप टू कम ओवर दिस स्लैब राइट सो दिस बिकम्स माई स्लैब so yeah see students why am i doing so right now to i am with you all right so we can analyze the things maybe in the examination this will come at the glance right so easy over here what happened the tax limiter is offered that it is having a choice oh yeah the elisa is having a choice if she wants she can be provided with the motor car okay so motor car situation comes into picture so maybe we have to figure it out what are they asked us for motor car so okay we know that the company can provide the company can provide cars also yeah so basically it could be the first option like if the company provides cars so we know that could be a journey or something for that benefits also they give okay and alternatively and alternatively she may also get an increased salary and also be paid a mileage allowances guys she would also be paid a mileage allowances guys we know mileage allowances we would have heard the word mileage allowances for using her private motor car Guys, private motor car. So first, we need to get a car calculation, okay? And that too, what it is, private journey. So we need to calculate the car and fuel benefit also, okay? So let us calculate the car and fuel benefit also, which is again very important. So let us go ahead with the first motor car solution. Yeah. My third position over here will be to calculate motor car. Okay. In the motor car. Employer when gives to employee, employer when gives to employee. Along with that, we have to see. Acha, is it a diesel car? Is it wood car? So basically, it has been provided that it is gonna be a petrol car. Petrol, petrol, petrol. Oh yeah, over here. If it is petrol car, see, let's figure it out. Which car it is? Okay. Regardless of whichever choice. Okay. If she makes motor car choice, if she makes salary choice or mileage choice. Regardless of whatever choice she makes, Alicia's new remuneration package will start. Okay, so that will be for the next year, and we know always, guys, we know that if it is an employment, employment income, employment income, employment income is always to be calculated for the physical year, for the whole year, right? That is, ma'am, something which we know. Cool, cool, cool. First, the first alternative, guys, the first alternative. If I am talking about first alternative, we can check out this alternative, and we can check the first requirement also. I have not shown like this in the question because in the question now they have already made like requirement and the first exhibit. So this is my first exhibit. Advice Alicia of the income tax and the national NICs implication for the tax years 23-24 if she is provided with the company's motor car. Okay, so they are talking about motor car. So we have to find out if she is getting motor car. How am I supposed to calculate? Okay. Your answer should be supported by an appropriate calculation, as Alicia is a higher right taxpayer that we know. Okay, and you can use the workings as a margin approach. However, a full computation approach is equally acceptable. Cool. You are not expected to consider any implication for tax. Oh, thank you. That means you are telling just we are supposed to calculate for the employee. Figure it out. Let's not worry. So over here, first implication is for motor car. So yeah, over here, this becomes my first position where I am going to read the things for the motor car. Let's go ahead. The motor car will be petrol powered. Okay, petrol power. Yeah. If guys, if a car is petrol powered, what am I now supposed to calculate? Yeah, I think you are remembering the things. When I'm having any car benefits, guys. Whenever I am having any car benefits. And I am having a petrol car, petrol car. Then what am I figuring it out? Yeah, ma'am, we have to figure out the grams per kilometer. Yes, yes, yes. So how much emission they are going to make? Yes. 
the car will be at a least price okay so price of the car is given the motor car will be petrol okay if it is petrol if it is petrol and if i'm telling about you all that it is going to emit 55 grams of kilometer i think you would have already got the answer of in some percentage if you check out the answers that they have provided guys it is predated it's old so that is something revised okay the motor car will be petrol power with the least price of 20 to 400 okay pounds it will have an official co2 emission rate at the rate of 55 grams per kilometer okay further tusk limited will not provide alicia with any fuel petrol journey that's cool so if they have not provided it's okay that means the employer is not going to provide anything for the employee that means if the employee has not provided employer has not provided anything do you think in alicia's income statement that is for the employment statement anything will be added no 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 benefits nothing okay no benefits nothing under this alternative alicia will not run the private motor car oh that's cool if she is not going to run her private motor car then to its school it's okay so what i am supposed to do with the first i am just allowed with the first thing so here it's 55 grams per kilometer 55 grams per kilometer that means if i show you all the car benefits guys if i show you all the car benefits can you check out over here the car benefits if the relevant base of co2 emission is 55 grams per kilometer and it is a petrol or car like something diesel guys we are supposed to calculate how much we are supposed to calculate which percentage guys 55 grams now we are supposed to calculate 16 percentage okay 16 percentage of what oh ma'am the cost yeah cool 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 chalo we can do that question okay so how will i write again how will i write again for the motor cars we know we know agar, uh, like if it is a petrol car if it is a petrol car petrol car benefits we are getting like yeah and smoke and emission they are doing and if it is like more than or it's equal to like 55 grams but in the question it is exact 55 grams then obviously what percentage we are considering it's 16 percentage cool so when this i got the situation now we are done with the first understanding and now this is salary and mileages and allowances are something which has been tested in for like the second part okay cool 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 now let us understand what if the tester is advise alicia of the income tax and the taxes which i want to show so first of all what i will write alicia will be taxed with the car benefit right so alicia has to pay tax benefits so first if i'm talking about the solution okay and i will write everything with blue color yeah so over here so students my solution over here will be basically i have to pay i have to pay a taxes that is alicia will be first taxed with the car benefit so yeah she got the car benefit isn't it yeah so alicia will be taxed with the car benefit can you tell me what will be the tax and what will be she will be having the car benefit for do you remember she got something she got the value 20 to 400 cool and on that we understood that 16 percentage was a tax rate so if i can calculate it don't you think this is my income this becomes if this becomes my income what is this students this is something which we need to add it which we need to add it to their income statements that is the employment statement yeah now on these guys now on these i if this is my income which is added which has been increased don't you think on these also i need to pay taxes for yeah students so on the increased value yeah as she is a higher rate taxpayer as she is a higher rate taxpayer on this income also she needs to pay an additional income tax she needs to pay an additional income tax so guys what is an additional income tax on the car benefit students we should know we should know that what is her tax rate so what is her slab rate so her slab rate was not 20 percent rate no ma'am her slab rate was like more than 33 double seven double zero but then lesser than 150 so she was coming ma'am in the 40 percent slab rate yeah so what we can do is 
we can take this amount we can take this amount we can multiply it with the slab rate we can multiply it with the slab rate okay ma'am so my amount my income over here has been added with this if i'm multiplying it with the slab rate that is 40 percentage don't you think this will be my income this will be my income tax guys this will be my income tax and we know one thing very well always round off to the nearest it is 3.6 guys my nearest will be 1434 so i hope you guys understood it also so yeah what i can write is 3584 into 40 percentage over here over here it was basically 22400 into 16 percentage and i hope you guys have cleared this yeah okay do you think is there any nic implications over here is there any implications for nic so yeah uh, we calculate calculated the income tax also is there any nic implications over here so students we know that when i talk about nic a very important and a very common question or the common thing comes in mind that when i am getting anything whether am i getting any benefits in cash no if i'm not getting any benefits in cash then nic implications are not there guys then nic implications are not there so no additional no additional nic implications will be the nic implications no other nic implications on alicia will be there for car benefits because she has not received it in cash she haven't received it in cash so students this is where you get three marks and i don't hope like i'm not literally i don't hope okay like you would have not known this this is something which is very common i feel everybody would have attempted this answer and everybody would would have thought of yeah ma'am it's very easy yeah very easy yeah, guys this is very easy just imagine three marks are in your hand i don't think it was difficult yeah it was manageable it was easy right so now let us go ahead and write out what i have they asked us in the second scenario okay hey students i'm going very slowly i'm going very slowly so that we can concentrate on each and every word right then in the exams i know everything will come fast okay okay so now after completing the motor car advantages they have got some salary and mileage advances also what is salary and mileage advances guys we know that many a times now they get some mileage advances also if they are getting some mileage advantage even that is to be understood at a very proper pace right okay so how much they are getting and what is the tax rates based on the mileages so if they are getting up to 10,000 miles if they are getting up to 10,000 miles 45 pence is something which they are getting allowances right okay if they are getting something more means over here I have to understand what amount I have received and what am I allowed if I have received more, hmm, that is something you have to pay, maybe. That becomes your negative thing. Okay. But if you are getting less, then completely it is exempt. Okay. Completely it becomes exempt. So, we hear what happened. Alicia will receive an annual gross increase of 10,000 pounds. Oh, we hear. So, that means if I just read it out. Just give me a minute. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Additional salary they have talked about over here she is getting how much extra guys she is getting 10,000 salary oh ma'am so she is getting some extra salary yeah guys she is getting extra salary so students if she is getting extra salary what am I supposed to do I have to pay extra salary tax isn't it so if I am getting extra salary how much is the extra salary students are extra salary is 10,000 if I wear extra salary is 10,000 then do you think now which slab it will go oh yeah ma'am if it is 10,000 now so maybe she will have to add up in that 60,000 and yeah salary will be now uh, maybe 70,000 so again ma'am it is coming in that 40 percent slab only ouch my existing salary is over here 60,000 so again I have to check out whether now I have to pay in the class 1 benefits yes or no even that becomes important so let us understand that what have they further asked us Task Limited, that is my employer, will pay Alicia a mileage allowances of 45 pence. Okay, so they are going to pay 45 pence. So, yeah, we know it is 45 or 35. So, depends of what is my usage. Yeah, 45 or 25, whatever is my usage. So, I have to check about, I need to check about 
will pay Alicia a mileage allowances of 45 pence okay and when she uses her private motor car for the business Alicia will drive 8,000 miles okay so they have talked about the miles also we know that we know that if I want to get a benefit if I want to get a benefit what is my expectations guys what is my expectations so I'll just I'm not yeah if you can check about this yeah so if we are getting an approved miles that is up to 10,000 so 45 pence is something which is allowed over here it is 8,000 only over here in the question it's just 8,000 so don't you think that 45 pence will completely be allowed yes 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 so complete pence is allowed I think now it will be very easy for us to calculate okay so they are having some annual motor cars also expenses but then I can write it over here about the second point about the second point okay so I'll just write it fourth point so my company Alicia is going to get some additional salary also yeah so Alicia is going to get some additional additional salary she is getting of pounds 10,000 pound but again she is already coming in the slab higher slab so again this will be like she has to measure in the higher slab only there will be nothing other than 40 percentage she has to pay taxes on that okay that is something which we understood it further she is getting mileage allowances also if it is mileage allowances what will be the allowances that we have to write it okay so when i talk about mileage allowances but yeah students it is not same huh? students mileage allowances is same but how much mileage i am getting it's different we i always do i always tell that they see the face and give the mileage allowances yeah it is not something like okay mileage allowances what they are going to pay is fixed no mileage allowances what is allowed is fixed okay so what am i getting mileage allowances so over here what am i receiving mileage allowances guys i have received 8000 miles okay i'll write like that some miles into pens miles into pens i received 8000 miles and how many pens 0.45 so what is the amount which i received guys i received 4600 is an amount which i received okay but can you tell me how much I was allowed? How much I was allowed? I was allowed. If I was allowed, if it is less than 10,000, if it is less than 10,000 miles, I was allowed 0.45 pence. So I hope it's very clear. So you have already got like 8,000 miles, 0.745. Now it is 3,600. That means, is there anything added in the income now? Do you think anything I need to add? No. Whatever you got is actually allowed. Whatever you got is actually allowed. So no worries, no worries. So we have completed that mileage allowance as also. Now, no additional tax in this is allowed. So yeah, no, we need not pay any additional tax. AR guys, if you remember, in the class one, in the class one NIC, we normally include anything which we are getting it for more than 45 pence. Yeah. So that is not actually over here needed. Yeah, if I'm getting anything extra than 45 pence. Yeah, we have to add it in the income. Yeah, so over here, though, there is no implication. So no need to worry that. Okay, 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 okay. Now, there is one more question of Motorka, which was pending. Yeah, let's figure it out over here. Mo Ali Alicia's annual, okay. Just a minute. Alicia's annual Motorka running cost will be 6200 higher than if she uses her own car. Okay, if she is using her own car for her business and the private purposes, her motor car running cost will be 6200. So over here now, when I'm talking about Alicia's motor car question, the income tax department allows us, yeah, the income tax department is what oh, going to allow us what? They allow us with the mileage allowances, but like any running cost, fuel, uh, running cost, other cost, actual cost, nothing like this is allowed, okay? Because we have already claimed mileage allowances. Once we have already claimed mileage allowances, this running cost and all are not allowed. Guys, if it is not allowed, that means worse. This becomes my cash flow. If I am getting this, I have to add it in the income. Right? This expenditure will not be allowed. If you are receiving amount for that, if you are receiving cash for that things, then it will be added in the your incomes. That means it will be added in your employee statement. Right? So it will not be allowed. So if I am just writing it over here. I hope you all are getting the things yeah i hope you all are understanding the things maybe if see uh, those whose preparation is very well so you will be thinking ma'am it is the most easiest question yeah it's the most easiest and the most scoring question also okay alicia's 
Alicia's Motika. Alicia's Motika in that if she has already received, if she, if she has already received the mileage allowances, then no such allowances are allowed. Then no such benefits are allowed. In short, in short, that will be taxed. In short, it will be added in the income and needs to be taxed. That's all. I hope it was the most easiest question. So, 6200 becomes my cash inflow. Students, I should always consider and we should always consider whenever the things are cash, whenever the things are considered cash, so we have to like uh, take things so uh, very positively because maybe there could be an implications which can hit us that okay we need to follow some nic's and all so yeah first of all first of all first of now let us understand what are the things we learned in this second part okay guys additional salary if you were having ten thousand so you all have to pay taxes on that so yeah that becomes a tax now so that will be my cash expenditure oh mileage allowances are you going to add on or less on something no ma'am on mileage allowances so oh, there will be no nothing so okay so there will be no any issue okay no additional tax will be there for mileage allowances because whatever we got actually we received and that much was allowed so yeah thank god we are relieved with the tax expenses from that but actually but actually students exactly we have to figure it out for the cash basis okay for the cash basis means whether am I when I'm I'm comparing both the things at that time it will come I'll explain you I'll explain you okay so yeah let us read what have the actors in the question to be done students I'll just make these things full advice Alicia of the income tax okay we have to find the income tax and the national insurance implications okay for the year okay if she receives a gross salary increase of 10,000 and also if she gets the mileage allowances ah, we know if uh, she is getting like maybe 10,000 so on that the income tax she has to pay if that is a cash if she is receiving the 10,000 in cash even NIC works well yeah so I think you are getting the things okay like let me make the answer very bold chalo we can start writing the answer solution students so they have asked us if she is getting extra salary guys if she is getting extra salary then what to be done Okay, if Alicia is getting extra income, then extra income tax is applicable. So, extra income tax is applicable. So, Alicia has to pay additional income tax. How much additional income tax? Students, she is getting 10,000, right? And we know already she is coming in the 40% slab, right? Yeah, 40 percentage base she is coming. So, yeah. What will be her tax liability? So, the 40 percentage into 10,000 comes to 4,000. She'll be having a tax liability. And this tax liability is my outflow of the company. So, yeah, they have to pay. So, it's a cash <coughs> outflow. <coughs> I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Over here, it's very, very, very much raining. It's raining heavily. Yeah. Okay. So, let's go ahead and check out the second question. So, what they have asked us? Oh, God bless me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. So what is the second question? They have asked us to calculate something about NIC also, right? So when I'm talking about NIC, I know if I have received anything in cash. Guys, you remember the levels? Yeah. If we have already reached more than 60,000, so there were th three levels which I already showed you, right? If you can check out, I can just copy and paste it over here. Again, I have prepared that sheet yeah so this is my nic employees level guys this is my class one employees level if i'm just copying it and pasting it over here this is my nic's level students we have already fallen beyond, beyond this because my original income was only sixty thousand. don't you think now i am required to pay an extra tax on 3.25 percentage yes so now the alicia once she has received an extra nic basically an income of ten thousand income which is equal to 10,000 she is liable to pay taxes at the rate of what at the rate of 3.25 percentage cool so now she'll be having an extra tax liability at 
10,000 into 3.25 by 100. So she is required to pay 325 as a tax expenses. Yeah, cool. But students, for mileage allowances, is there anything like that? Is there anything for mileage allowances? As such, no. Why, guys? Because we know already I received something and that much was what I was allowed also. So nothing is to be paid, right? Okay, for mileage allowances. Whatsoever she received was actually allowed, right? Isn't it? Was an allowable expense. So nothing is to be taxed. So nothing is to be taxed. Students, this is the first way now. So I am writing everything what is to be shown and how is to be written things are to be written. Because you know just for writing these things guys, you are going to fetch 3 marks over here. If you can check out, note your answer should support the appropriate calculations and whenever you feel you have to show the workings also. Guys, it is going to fetch with 3 marks and I hope this 3 marks was also something which you can achieve, right? Okay, it's easy. Now students, this becomes the most important concept which carries a good marks. Yeah, it's 4 marks. And this is where we make mistake. We make mistake. Advise Alicia as to which of the two alternative packages is most beneficial. Guys, what is that? Over here, you have been allotted with like 2 things. Yeah, even you will be allotted with two things so in these two things guys in these two things we have to analyze which is better so in the question now that they, they will be showing you differently okay this is exhibit one this is exhibit two so in exhibit one we have to check Achha, whether that package was beneficial where you get some salary and some allowances yeah maybe you'll be getting some petrol allowances but this is better where you are getting uh, the mileage expenses and some running cost which is better so okay when such type of question comes now students, the answer 3, it needs to be compared. Now these answer will be known as a comparable answer. So exactly what I have to do is, I have to analyze which situation turns around to be better. Okay, for if I am talking about the first situation, the first answer, yeah, the first answer. Guys, what was better in that? Achha, in first answer, we analyzed, achha, I am supposed to pay the tax of how much? I was supposed to pay whenever I want to compare I need to check whether my inflow or my outflow which is better where am I earning means I have to compare whether I'm getting some inflow or in the end whether I have to expend something okay in the first scenario my outflow was 1434 right so I was supposed to make an outflow if I was supposed to make an outflow that will be my loss as it, right for the first scenario this was my outflow if you could check upon for the second scenario, what would be my outflow and what will be my inflow? Guys, if you check my outflow, this is my outflow first, which I paid an extra tax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Along with that, the additional tax is also my outflow. If you could see in the question, you had paid like the 6200 was the running expenses, right? If this is a running expenses, don't you think this is an outflow? Yeah, even that is an outflow. But guys, what is inflow? What is inflow for the second question? students we got salary of 10,000 yeah that is something an inflow along with that students we got a mileage allowances of 3600 so that is an inflow so now accordingly we are supposed to make a comparison and then we have to say Achha, whether the option one is better or option two works better for us so okay we can write that in the solution over here students for that now you should know the solution uh, you should remember how you have made okay i'm just to showing you on okay 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 for the first scenario for the first scenario what was my first thing yeah i have to check what i received it okay for cars and all now the employer has given the cash flow like for that employer over here first plus first we have got now the tax benefits okay the alicia will be tax but then the benefit of the car was there so yeah we got the car benefit for the first yeah in the first scenario i got the car benefit and my car benefit was basically some amount but on that my outflow was what my, my outflow was to pay tax on that yeah to pay so how much you paid 1434 so again this is my minus 1434 so in the first situation i was having this much negative but in the second scenario guys i received what guys i received salary 
salary is my inflow 10,000 yeah I received that if you remember allowances yeah mileage allowances hmm I received huh? that is my receipt isn't it so yeah if this is my receipt yeah, I'm just cutting and showing it over here so that we can check out if that is my receipt even that is my inflow so 3600 was my inflow okay. was there any outflow yeah ma'am uh, you got the 10,000 salary right so income tax you were supposed to pay income tax on salary additional salary so that was for 4,000 because 40 percentage Oh, no, along with that you remember NIC also you got the cash so yeah NIC also tax you paid yeah how much tax I paid over here if you can check out it was minus 325 okay cool minus 325 is there any outflow yeah that running cost yeah so running cost is also an outflow which is basically minus 6200 so if I compare all those things yeah I will understand whether I'm having more outflow or more inflow over here students I am having inflow over here there I am having outflow if I can compare it tell me now which is better is the first alternative better or is the second alternative better so obviously my second alternative is better but can you tell me by how much it is better how much ma'am this much I am getting a benefit but you are saving something from here isn't it so if I take up the total over here my now these losses will not be there so that means I am having a benefit of 305 plus 1434 so this is known as my net benefit which I am getting it. So by accepting the cash salary in option, we can get, the Alicia can get a net benefit of this. Means by choosing the second option, by choosing the second option, Alicia is getting a total benefit of, is getting a net benefit of 4509 and I hope you guys have understood it there. Yeah? 4509 students yeah this is what is expected from you all to write in the paper and guys I can show you the answer I can show you the answer students seriously it's going to fetch you like 10 marks nothing more than that and I don't think like nobody over here could like solve this question I, I really hope like if you all are doing for the once also like for the first also if you are practicing this answer along with me maybe afterwards definitely 6 marks so you would have got it's definitely six or seven marks so you would have got and if you have got six or seven marks but practicing on your own you are at a good pace you are at a good pace yeah so need not worry so you all are going to pass with the great marks yeah so yeah over here guys we complete the first question which has been tested at the rate of 10 marks so we successfully completed the first question i'm just closing it okay now what are the concepts we learned over here so basically we learned some additional salary if you are getting some additional salary we need to pay taxes on that yeah along with that if it is a cash when the students are cash thing comes into picture at that time an IC calculation works well if I'm getting any mileage if I'm getting any mileage so I have to see some allowation or some deduction is there but what is the deduction if you are getting something like lesser than 10 percentage then 45 pence and all so we are so lucky that we have been provided with the rates so it's just that we have to smartly work we have to we are good to analyze so i hope the first question was very easy and we could easily manage this okay so yeah let us go ahead with the second question yeah i'm, I'm going very slow i know maybe some of them will be feeling okay ma'am it is very slow but then it's highly required i cannot trust you i cannot trust you yeah let me just open the second question that is again very important important in sense it's thodas are different it's thodas are different okay thodas are it's different okay i'm just enabling it maybe uh, you can check out in these words now many a times it will be like 2021 20, 22 22 so yeah i have now already made the things correction but uh, sometimes it may be like accounting year now there could be some mistakes but that is any which way is not going to affect us affect us okay so yeah let us start with the question yeah guys if you need a break maybe we can take a break for like two minutes but then i think we are cool right we are cool yeah okay chalo now we can take a break of two minutes
so yeah let us start with the question okay let us start with the second question okay even that is being tested even that is being tested over here just give me a minute so complete okay I think it's clearly visible. Let me just check the visibility or else I'll just make it more bold. Okay. This case scenario relates to three requirement guys in this now. It's the same question. It's the same question means it's from that question only September, December 2022. You can check out this question is there. But again, the dates and the rates are different. So accordingly, we have made the changes. Okay. On 31st July 2002, so it was basically 22, Dom, okay, there is a person, Dom left his employment from Abacus Limited, okay. So on 31st July 2022, so maybe April, May, June, July. So he was being employed in that company for let's say 4 months in a fiscal year. And after that he is going to leave that company, okay. Where he had worked since 2020, okay where he like started the work from a long time and now he wants to leave that company okay so in the current year he has just worked for let's say four months okay dom started with the new employment with brass limited okay guys so here there is an abacus company which is an old company okay which he have left and now he have started with the brass company on 1st august 2022 okay. if this is a situation basically there are two company abacus and brass okay so to in the backers it was four months and maybe the remaining all the later months that is eight months brass will be the company okay cool the following information is available for the whole year need not worry okay employment with the backers so yeah there is something which they have provided it like for the first company okay how much salary what they would have got everything everything is given cool so backers company they have given something about brass company they have given and something about the class so let us first understand what are the requirements they have asked us in the first question calculate the dome's income liability for the taxable year okay so we have to cal calculate the dome's income income means the employee's income if i'm calculating do i need to calculate his salary i have to calculate whatever things he have earned it isn't it so i need to figure it out it's total income it's total tax liability on that whether he is getting any benefits whether he is getting any allowances, whether he is getting any reliefs. So everything comes here. That means it's a basic total income tax liability. So just in one word, the total income tax liability means everything I'm supposed to calculate. And over here, your competition shall include all the items referred in the notes. So notes will be zero marks, huh? indicating by the use of the zeros of any items. Okay, so I have to write, if not possible, zero. Also, I have to write, which are non-taxable or deductible, 12 marks, guys. Worth 12 marks. I think it is easy. So, this is what I was planning to solve up questions from you all. So that you guys can have a confidence. Like, okay, like this question comes, definitely, ma'am, we are going to solve good, get the good marks. Okay, after going that, calculate the total amount of the class 1 employees okay so yeah it's basically b part in that we have to calculate for class 1 employees also and i see insurance okay that is just for two marks okay cool so what is important over here it's for this 12 marks income tax liability so let us understand now what have they given in the question first students they have given in that initially the company the employee has worked in two companies in one company for four months in another company for remaining eight months so the company in which he worked for only four months the scenario is given the company in which he worked for four months he got a salary at a dome was paid a gross annual salary of 64800 so ma'am over here when i talk about gross annual salary of 64800 do you agree with the statement is it correct like we should get like 64800 so in the first question when they have asked us like this i'll just make a working note for me i'll just make a working note for me okay it's just for my reference okay just for my reference so i, I expect you all to write like this okay working notes oh this is my working note not my actual sheet workings the first working is this first of all dome was working yeah dome was working in both the companies and was working in two companies or in two employments yeah the first employment's name was basically over here was an abacus was an abacus so yeah my spellings always ignored Spe uh, abacus and another one was brass okay now in 
in Abacus, he worked for like April, May, June and July. Cool. Yeah, for like four months. Guys, it was four months only. Yeah. But if you can figure it out. I don't know about, uh, about brass. They have not yet told. We are figuring it out first for Abacus. So they told that I am going to get 64800 for like whole year. But students, if I have worked for only four months, then I will not get now. So how much will I get then income or the salary? It is 64800 into 4 by 12. So will I get 21600? Exactly, I will get 21600. So this is my first thing which I managed to do it. Yeah, I hope you guys are getting this thing. So what I managed to do, the first thing, yeah, it was 21600. Yeah, cool. So first I found off 21600 which was very easy. I hope you, everybody would have got this 21600. Okay. So let us understand what have they asked further. What are the other income which she is getting. Okay. If I read out for the same. Okay, this is for brass. This is for backers. Okay. Okay, so first thing to be did it. Oh ma'am, on 15th May. On 15th May. That means, uh, okay, uh, when I am talking about May. So basically it will be April and May. The time when he was in the employment with Abacus company. On 15th May 2022, Abacus got a gift which is known as a briefcase. Okay. Which is costing, which is costing pound 100 as a reward for the professional examination. So yeah. So maybe he would have cleared ACCA and the company would be very happy and they gave him a gift of briefcase. So if you remember students, we are knowing a trivial, 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 T-R-I-V-I-L. That was what? If like we are having getting or like if an employee is getting any small gifts like which is basically lesser than 50 pounds yeah 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 come back come back come back if you're getting anything gift like uh, which is lesser than 50 pounds so what we have to do we have to exempt only 50 pounds but if I'm getting if I'm getting something beyond 50 pounds guys beyond 50 pounds that complete amount is taxable hey ma'am so you're telling this 100 pound is taxable yeah students if 100 pound is taxable and I have worked only for like four months. Am I supposed to do? Ma'am, it's not a salary. Ma'am, it's one time you are getting. So now this 100 pounds is to be added in the income statement for my employee. Okay. So let's book there. Let's book there as a name of briefcase. Okay. So yeah, I need to write the second working note over here. So yeah, my second working note as on. See students, if I don't write like this also now, it is not a big deal. But then I want us to like know how we are going to write in the papers also so i i cannot uh, like i cannot afford to like not to write just to say orally no no, no. we have to write we have to write okay. so 15 5 2022 uh, like yeah uh, whose uh, plannings and whose like uh, preparations are already done guys you all can obviously watch me in 1.5 that will that will never be an issue okay, okay. on 15 5 2022 uh, the employee has received a briefcase yeah so it has received a briefcase which is worth more than pound pound 50 so whatever am i going to receive which is lesser than pound 50 it's going to be exempt it's going to be exempt but if you are receiving something more than 50 pound it's not going to be exempt it is taxable so as per trivial yeah as per trivial if it is more than 50 it is taxable we are getting 100 pounds we are getting 100 pounds i'm getting 100 pounds over here so that will be taxable taxable means i am supposed to add it in my income statement so maybe 100 will be added in my income statement so yeah we can make like this also maybe if you want yeah cool so now that is to be added cool chalo hey what about third scenario have they given anything else let's figure it out during the current year, during the current year, the com uh, the employee got drove 900 miles of Abacus. Okay, students, this was the same transaction. This is the same entry. This is the same adjustment which was tested in the previous question also. So maybe it becomes important. So what have they told? Okay, uh, the company drove like 900 miles of that Abacus company is using his private motor and Abacus got a reimbursement of 35 pence, guys. First of all, it is 900 miles, okay, and you are getting a reimbursement, okay, you are getting a reimbursement of 35 pence, 35 pence you are getting per mile. So, yeah, if I am just talking about this, you should exactly remember, yeah, if it is up to, if it is up to, if it is up to 10,000, if it is up to 10,000 miles, we get how much reimbursement, guys, we are supposed to get 0.45 pence, yeah, but what happened, what I actually received, guys, I actually received only 900 miles into 0.35 pence 
so I got only this much I got only this much yeah if I'm getting only this much what will be my amount which will be allowed guys my allowed expenditure or my mileage allowances my mileage allowances are basically 900 into 0.45 pence so that means if I multiply don't you think you received something lesser than what you should supposed to receive yeah ma'am it's something like I was supposed to receive 405 but then I just received like um, 350 so now now this will not be your income it will be reduced from your income so again that's a thing that is 315 minus this. so it will be minus 90 which I have to do it okay if it is minus 90 okay I just wanted to make it more yeah if it is minus 90 students what I have to do over here I have to write it minus 90 in the statement see if I write minus 90 guys what will be my income which I can show which I can show in the abacus limited like if everything is over then in abacus limited it will be minus 90 guys it will be like the income of 100 oh yeah ma'am it will be the income like you got for the four months initial salary so yeah over here I'll be having 21 610 as my income to be shown in the company so this will become my first working note yeah this will become my first working note and I hope everybody was able to manage this yeah so everybody we know this okay are we fine are we fine with this yeah so with these we have completed about the abacus abacus is done <coughs> okay let's go ahead and read about okay yeah so this is the same thing they have written it okay now for second part employment with brass okay employment with brass okay for the next company in which i joined it like after completing it for four months yeah so what i'm going to get employment with brass limited dome was paid a gross annual salary of 76800 right? in other company in brass limited he was paid a salary of 76800 once employed by brass on first step oh so nothing is given like for how many months he's going to stay so it's assumed that he's going to stay from first august till the march so it may be like august september october november december jan feb march so like eight months he's going to fetch the salary for cool that's cool so yeah we can write under the sheet only the working note too <coughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm so sorry i'm not well so like every time i'm getting like itching in my nose yeah cool, cool, cool. yeah so let's figure it out for the second part that is my working note too which i have to do it for my other company okay brass company brass limited okay let's figure it out the first thing again over there let's see the salary they have given right at the first point over the salary was how much if you can check out the question it is 76800 and yeah 76800 is a salary but i <coughs> stayed in that company only for eight months right so yeah it's 76800 into 8 by 12 so yeah this will be my income if I am working there only for the period of eight months okay let's analyze what have they asked 76 800 for like eight months so we calculated this over here 76 800 into like 8 by 12 so I got this amount of 51 200 cool on 1st September 2022 that is after I being been associated like August so in the next month what I get he was provided with a new diesel powered car guys it's petrol powered no it's diesel powered car it's diesel powered car the motor car had a price of 25200 and an official co2 emission was 122 grams per kilometer okay yes it's 122 grams per kilometer so do you remember something which then again we need to figure out yeah yeah if you can please 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 guys if you remember yeah if you remember the tell me what will be the amount what will be the amount yeah do you know some percentages are there like 20 percentage 30 percentage yeah so when it is for the diesels when it is for the diesel that you are getting something better so yeah we have to again check we have to again check what is my total expectations that i'm going to get and what is my contribution okay so if i'm talking ahead i'll just write over here the benefits which i'm going to get it 
the second for the diesel if i'm going to emit like it's 122 right how much you're going to emit students it's 122 grams oh my god you're emitting a lot it's not good huh? so we are emitting 122 grams which is again not so good so i can just make a round of so i just made a round of till 120 120 grams so i can get a base rate so my base rate over here is my base rate is 55 yeah you know now my base base amount is like 55 up to 55 you were getting something so my base was 55 and on that we were supposed to pay 20 percentage tax yeah yes my base but then if it is if it is eventually increased by how much is it increased by 120 minus 55 it's eventually increased by 65 so yeah by every increase it is 30 percent so if I take a total, it is 33 percentage on which you are supposed to make a payment. So yeah, again, we have to check on that. So how much we are going to make a payment and what will be the situation for my car benefits or my diesel benefits. So even I'm getting any benefits for my diesel. So that is something which I have to make a payment. Okay, this is for diesel. Okay, this is for diesel. So diesel, what am I getting? In the question, if you read students, you are getting a diesel benefit of... 25200 guys it's 25200 if you're getting a benefit of 25200 on which you are supposed to pay a tax of third 13 33 percentage so yeah what am i getting first of all it's 25200 isn't it yeah so i can write car benefit car benefit i'm getting car benefit of 25200 on which 33 percentage is a tax rate which i have to pay so maybe eight uh, three six one but students we know i have been in the employment for like whole year no ma'am it's just like you're getting it from which date you're getting it on first september so september october november december jan feb march it's only for like seven months yeah it's only for like seven months guys okay so for here you have to add this 4851 in your income this is what you're supposed to add it in your income so i can just make it like that yeah, everything I can make like this with the dark blue color. So I hope you guys understood these also. So yeah, there was a car benefit. So we successfully managed to do this also. Cool. What have they asked us in the third question? Don't. Okay. That come. That employee was provided with the fuel also. Acha, you have been provided with the fuel also for the private company in respect of first September 2022. Yeah. This is what I told you. Now I have made the changes. Yeah. So guys, if you have been provided with the motor car fuel, you know one thing very common. Yeah, you should get into knowledge that is given in your sheet, right? If you are getting any fuel, it's a slab, like one flat rate of 25-300. Okay, do you want me to show? Yeah, let me show. yeah i think it's visible yeah it's visible uh, yeah okay chalo. so i think you can easily check out over here that how much am i getting over here the fuel fuel is basically given in over here 25 300 right 25 300 i think it's visible yeah so 25 300 so the base figure it's only one figure we have to take that is 25 300 and 25 300 if you're taking so that means that is my fuel benefit on that taxes i have to pay so yeah that becomes my income so yeah i got the fuel for the private usage so what was my private usage basically i can write it over here third that is i got the fuel but then that is from september 2021 okay so I know the amount is constant. So constant amount is to be returned over here. And my constant amount is nothing other than 25,300. But students, what was the percentage? You should know if I am getting over here any diesel benefits, same percentage I have to apply. Same percentage I have to apply. So that is to be applied with 33 percentage students. But then for how many months? Again, it will be from like September. So September to the next year. So it's 7 by 12. So again, you are getting what benefits? 25, 300 into 33 divided by 100 into 7 months by 12 months. So it's 4870. 
and when I take the round off, we everybody knows that it is always to be taken near the nearest round off. Okay, so yeah, we can take like four inch seven zero will work there. Okay, now when I go ahead with the further question, they have provided that brass company. Okay, the brass, my uh, the employer, my employer, my employer has work as a workplace nursery on its premises, which is available to all the employees and domes children. Okay, so what happened over here? Uh, in many of the companies, like I don't know whether you know or not, in many of the companies, um, uh, the company provides them with uh, some help. Like, okay, they provide some nurseries where the, uh, like the employees, employees' children can come there, then sit there, so that they can enjoy, so that the employee can concentrate on their work. Uh, like I can say you that uh, it's something like a, a child care right when it is a child care the child care which is being given by the employer is known as an exempt why because the employer used to feel that because of kids now the parents are not able to concentrate on the work that they are doing okay so along with that they uh, with the review which I can say with the analysis which has been done in the market is that most of the ladies having kids are not concentrating on the work so if there is any sort of nursery which is available by the employer, it is again for their benefits. Why? If they help the ladies or if they help the kids, okay, you can play here. So maybe their parents can concentrate on the work. So yeah, over here it is the concept. So when it is a child care now guys, I'll just read it once. Brass Limited has a workplace nursery on its premises which is available to all the employees. Guys, all means all. All means all the employees. Cool. And Dome's child took up a place there on 1st Jan 2022 okay so dome style is there okay dome does not have to pay anything and uh, along with that the nursery fees is also being payable like 700 per month but then we know any sort of an income any sort of an income which is basically because of the child care so is exempt okay over here when this child care situation it's an exempt it's an exempt income so in the employee statement it is not going to come so it is not added that's all so nothing is to be added so it will be a short short zero yeah it's easy it's easy okay. so later on they have told during the year during the year 2020 to 23 my employee has paid 300 pounds to renew his membership of the professional body so if you remember or I think you guys can just recall it if I'm paying any fees for like ACCA or CA qualified courses so then we do get a deduction okay so then we do get a deduction like minus 300 so we can claim we can uh, or like we can consider it as an expenditure similarly also over here now uh, the employee has given some payments so they have made some fees for a recognized course for a recognized course it's the professional membership so yeah we can deduct it so 3000 uh, sorry over year 300 now they will be getting as an expenditure allowed okay so during the year so he has paid 300 to renew his membership fees okay no worries we can just record it okay i'll just mention it over here okay 300 over here fifth the fees that he has paid so yeah we get a deduction so deduction to the employees there So it's available to the employee as he has paid an allowable fees like what we can say an allowable expenditure. So out of his salary he will be having minus 300. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Students, isn't it easy? It's easy, right? It's easy. Further, some additional income. Oh, other income he is getting. What is the other income that he is supposed to get? see i think you remember in the class yesterday we have understood uh, normally now normally i'm getting three in the income now i bifurcate into three parts that is non-saving income saving income and dividend income what is non-saving income the thing which i have earned it because of my hard work right where i would have did my employment no matter it is a trading income and something like that okay or maybe pension income but if I was having some money and I just invested, it's just I invested into some savings, for example, in the FDs or maybe bank, uh, like 
banks like that okay not the saving income just not the saving banks but it could be like fixed deposit or it could be building securities interest and if i'm getting any sort of an interest income or if i'm getting any dividend income it's to be separately shown yeah it is to be separately shown okay so over here now they have asked us during the year during the year the company received something other income also so the individual received saving income of 700 and dividend income of 3000 so okay he got these two things cool very cool very good so that is also other income so what i have to do it i have to differently show it for example i can show it like that so what i'll do i'll add on the income i'll add on all the incomes and i will bifurcate like this over here non-saving income saving income and dividend income i will take it and accordingly guys you remember after doing all this i get the total income yeah after i get the total income i minus some allowed things yeah you remember some expenditure relief i may minus and i get a adjusted net income i hope you guys are getting it yeah a and i am i getting yeah after am i getting a and i what i was supposed to do ma'am if your income is lesser than five uh, sorry if your income is less than one lakh full pa you get yeah full personal allowances we get full personal allowance we get or if it is like uh, less than or maybe greater than one lakh so calculations is to be done so calculation is to be done so yeah all these things though we know yeah calculations to be done and then we get the situation so yeah right now i knew that i was having some saving income and uh, yeah they have told some valuation so okay that is my later part can i now add all the income students this is not the way this is a working note this is a working note right this is a working note uh, as this is my first question as this is my first question i am interested in making the situation so what have they given but to calculate the income tax liability so now let us calculate the income tax liability and i am going to do it with the proper pro forma yeah because once now i don't want us to be like lazy yeah have to do it so have to do it yeah income tax competition yeah so let's do it income tax competition income tax competition for whatever is the year so my year over year turns around to be 22 23 so yeah, i need to write that 22 23 also that is 2022 23 so make it bold first thing what i need to enter is i have to write my abacus limited yeah we got some salary from both the employments so yeah please write the abacus limited so abacus limited first i got like i got some salary yeah for like how many months salary i got like for four months so where was my amount of the salary guys if you remember if you have questions 64 800 was my salary but i got it fully for like four months there was nothing other than 64 800 into 4 by 12 so yeah it will be like 21 600 yeah if i'm just making it like that so it is more easily evident okay 24 21 600 then if you remember students we got we have cleared some exam and we got some briefcase here yeah? exam and i got some briefcase and my briefcase i got was for more than 50 pounds so again that be my income that is 100 pounds i need to add it yeah then students we got some approved mileage okay if you want you can check the sheets this is what we have prepared isn't it so like i got the salary i got the pounds i got that oh approved mileage guys you received 315 but you were allowed 405 so 90 is minus yeah so 90 is my negative so yeah we did not consider that okay we'll just take minus 90 and here am i getting the total salary for my uh, back is limited okay now what will be the salary that we are supposed to calculate it for my next company okay so students what was my next company yeah brass limited yeah so let's figure it out for the brass limited also in brass limited also students i would have received the salary yeah so if you remember my salary was 76 800 and that too for eight months so if i could just multiply 76 800 into 8 by 12 i got the salary of 51 200 students you remember i got some car benefits also yeah oh ma'am you got the car benefit the diesel benefit of like 55 uh, 25 200 and on that 33 percentage you were allowed to book yeah okay so we can go ahead i'll write over here car benefits 
by God, the valuation of that benefit was being restricted to 25 200. 25 200. But guys, on that 33 percentage tax was being paid. But I only took those benefits from 1st September. So it will be 7 by 12. So if I make it exact, 25 200 into 33 by 100 into 7 by 12, am I getting 4851? Yeah. Then we got the car fuel benefit. Yeah, fuel, fuel. And fuel benefit is exact discrete term of 25 300. Again, whatever the percentage. And again, exact months. I was supposed to make 25 300 into 33 by 100 into 7 by 12. I hope everyone is getting it clear. If you check the next transaction, they have given some workplace for like nursery. Yeah. Nursery for that uh, kids. So are they going to pay? No ma'am, it's nothing. It's an exempt income for us. So we need not pay that. <coughs> that, you're a proper, that professional fees I have paid of some 300 that examination. So yeah, my professional fees, something like that. I paid it and that is my allowable expenditure of minus 300. So with these, I can get my total income in my second company also. So in my next employment, I'm getting a total income of 66... 6621 I'm so sorry so guys what will be my total income what will be my total income okay if I just check my employment income <coughs> I'm so sorry I'm not well now actually my employment income is this plus what I received in the previous year because always I have to take the employment not just for some less months it will be for like the whole year guys this is my employment income means it is known as NS what is NS guys yeah non-saving income that means this is what you have earned it this is what you have earned it so this is my non-saving income so now you know how am I going to present the answer is yeah I'll write like this right non-saving income saving income and dividend income yeah so we have to bifurcate in all these three things saving income non-saving income and dividend income so when i talk the first thing what am i getting for saving income or not like non-saving income yeah so we got the first non-saving income over here at the same valuation so my employment income was what my employment income was this so then we fetched this students if you can read the question further yeah if you can read the question further they have given in the question that i'll show you they have got some yeah dom received saving income of 700 and dividend of 3000 okay so saving income of 300 so saving income and dividend income so yeah what is my saving income guys my saving income turns around to be 700 and dividend is 3000 cool 700 and 3000 is my dividend income now you know what am i going to get the first thing you need to again read the question is everything over can we calculate like my final everything my uh, taxable liability but then again ma'am, one more thing is there during the current year dome has a charitable gift donation oh ma'am 240 net yeah i think you would have already got it because you would have seen my previous class video so for you, if I'm getting any donation, if I'm like, if sorry, if I'm not getting, I'm paying any donation, don't you think my donation, I'll get a benefit of 100% and whatever I would have paid will be considered at 80%. Yeah. So students, if 240 is 80%, definitely if I divide it by 80%, I will be getting exact amount that is 240 divided by 80% comes to 300. So I'll be getting a benefit of 300 guys. I'll be getting a benefit of 300. Yeah, you know that you know that and on the benefit what am i getting yeah ma'am that extra income of 300 and that extra is going to add in your slabs yeah so my tax applicability that much amount it is going to add on so how will i calculate that guys how will i calculate that okay so let us go ahead and calculate over here i'll write it over here downwards in the benefits like a charity oh that will be pick up okay if i want to make i can make it as a working note like my charitable my charitable donations so i have actually paid them 240 and i know that is going to be 80 percentage so we can claim a 
benefits of 300 because of which my slab rate from this and this it's gonna increase by 300 and by 300 <coughs> that is something which we already know yeah that is something which we already know i'm so sorry i am so sorry i cannot help it out i cannot help it out i already had my medicine but then i get cold very soon yeah after this question oh uh, yeah we can take a break maybe and then again i can have my hot water yeah cool chalo so after completing this after completing this what is my next for the thing which i have to do students you should always remember you should always remember at the time of calculating uh, the charitable we have to follow three procedures yeah once i am done with that i'll take out my total income oh ma'am if you have made any charity please reduce and show your adjusted net income then you check what is your personal allowances and then accordingly we are going to book cool 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 so chalo let us do in the working note let's go ahead in the working note and we can calculate the valuation so yeah as of now can you tell me what is my total expected income what is my total expected income guys my total income is this three thousand yeah okay it's three thousand plus it's seven hundred plus it's eight to two guys if you see this what do you understand what do you understand is this taxable income is this taxable income is it more than 1 lakh? You should get a hint. Ma'am, it's not more than 1 lakh. So maybe full personal allowance you might be getting of 12,570. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Am I getting or not? Am I getting or not? Or what are the further calculations am I supposed to do? So if I check this, my ANI, my adjusted net income is how much? So students, my adjusted net income. Okay, yeah, let me write it correctly. My adjusted net income is the total of all this. Is the total of what? Is the total of non savings, savings and dividend. So my non savings in the question was 82231. Savings was 700 and dividend was 3000. So if I take the total, I was having a total income of this. Yeah. Now, this is any which ways. This is any which ways lesser than 1 lakh. Yeah. So I will be available. I will be available with a PA. Personal allowances of full 12,570. <coughs> Again, on what should I first reduce that? Yeah, we know this hierarchy cannot be changed. Guys, this hierarchy cannot be changed. Okay, so let us go ahead and write over here. So now, after calculating this, I have to reduce my personal allowances. Guys, my personal allowances are to be reduced. If I'm going to reduce my first deduction, that is maximum, 12,570, huh? My first, it should be deducted again, so always NS. So I will reduce it to 12,570. Okay, students, then what will I be getting my total income at, guys? This will be my total income. This will be my total income. Okay. I hope you are getting the things, yeah? My total income over here is going to be this minus this exactly in this i don't have any deduction so it will be the same and i'll get the total value yeah are you getting the things are you getting the things i think everybody got the thing i think everybody got this value students if i'm getting this is a net income like the total 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 73 361 so we should get a clear cut hint that yeah it's a higher tax payer, higher tax payer. so slab rates we have to take care of base rates so what is the slab guys if i'm talking about the tax liability yeah a tax liability then we have to find out the bands guys it is zero two three double seven double zero yeah sure and three double seven double zero so maybe one is to one like fifteen but students in this question we had a charitable donation so because of that i can increase my 300 to the end and bands yeah so over here it will be plus 300 over here also it will be like plus 300 in the end so my closing band will be what over here it will be three double seven no it'll be 38 so i can write like this plus 300 and over here it will be like one like 50 plus 300 so it will be this cool 
so this is my closing but students if i have earned this much income so where will i bifurcate it so my income over here stood to be this for example this is one of my favorite thing which i always tend up doing maybe aapne dekha hoga in my previous classes also so yeah we have to just bifurcate it which becomes very easy seriously guys it's very easy yeah so we yeah, are about we can make it first we can buy forget how much 38000 and whatever is the leftover situation which is this needs to be taxed accordingly yeah chalo when i tax it accordingly when i tax it accordingly okay yeah is it pakka we have to do it this way so students you should now know you should now know that when we are having a uh, non saving income right when we are having a saving income and when we are having a dividend income are the rates are the slabs same this is what i wanted to have a hint for you all students if it is not same then check out individually guys then check out individually if it's ma'am what are you going to tell is it something different we have to do yeah we have to make something different so guys what it is what it is what is this first non saving income so guys over here i have to write non saving income ns non saving income over here is not this ma'am it is this so now by forget this okay so now this will be my slab on that i will pay 20 percentage over here over here it will be my remaining 40 percentage i hope you guys are getting this things yeah okay so what will be my tax liability over here if i make it bold this is my tax liability isn't it 7600 over here and it's 12 Okay, I can make it twelve six six five or maybe twelve six six four. Yeah, I don't want in points. Okay, so if I make the total, this is my first tax liability, which is basically for non savings. Okay, when I go further for interest, guys, when I go further for interest, what am I supposed to show? What is first of all my interest income? If I show it, it's just seven hundred. Cool. My savings income is seven hundred. Students, is it higher? What should I do? Okay. Is it higher than five hundred? Yeah, you remember NRB? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should, you should get a. If it is NRB, yeah, if it is coming like NRB, then if it is more than five hundred, only then you are supposed to pay tax of forty percentage. Up till first five hundred, it is exempt. Yeah, up till first five hundred, it is exempt. Again, again. You know when we make all such things now, when we make all such things like this, I feel uh, it, uh, it uh, like it smoothen my eyes. Yeah, and I can like correlate it fast. Five hundred and there is two hundred. Over here there is zero tax. Over here it's forty percent tax. So this is what I I prefer doing. But then it all depends upon your individual choices, guys. So yeah, we can just multiply it with zero percentage. So it becomes zero any which ways. If I just multiply it with forty percentage, I'm getting eighty. So students, this is my tax now. If I just add on both the ways, it's gonna be eighty only. Agree? Yes. Let's go ahead with the dividend. Let's go ahead. Same thing with the dividend. I think you should remember, yeah. For dividend initially, yeah, you know that there is something like for initial two thousand, you need not pay taxes, and yeah, if it goes beyond two thousand, and the slab things, it comes like thirty three point seventy five. So, are you going to remember all these things? So you will tell me, ma'am, how will I remember? I need not worry. We know, na. Things are always given in your question. Over here, guys, check, check, check. I'm just showing you all so that you don't get worried. <laughs> So yeah, if it is additional, my taxes. So it's thirty three point seventy five percentage for dividend. Yeah, and you can check out yeah dividend for initial two thousand. It is going to be zero, nothing, no more than that. If it is coming in the higher tax rate, yeah, ma'am, it's coming. So it's thirty three point seventy five, guys. That's the thing. That's the thing. For initial starting saving income, first it should be like zero, and then it is going more than five thousand. Then it have to be taxed. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, students need not worry, Baba. Everything is given in your question, so you all are very lucky with that things. Yeah, cool. Chalo, we can go ahead with the dividend. So, what is my total dividend amount? It's provided in the question. It's three thousand, guys. Three thousand. But then we know again. Ah, initial two thousand is it taxed? No, ma'am. Initially two thousand not taxed. And whatever is the remaining tax, if it is forty percent for the normal individual, what is was my tax? My tax was to do with thirty three percentage, right? My tax was to do with thirty three percentage. Thirty-three point some seventy-five, right? Yeah. So, chalo, we can do that, and yeah, we can wind up the class. Um, no, not wind up. Maybe we can wind up the question. Yeah. 
so initially 2000 and my remaining 1000 accordingly what i'll do it oh yeah ma'am over here now it was zero over here it is to be taxed at the rate of 33.75 percentage yeah it's 33.75 percentage okay so if i just make a total i multiply this with this yeah it will be this and over here if i copy this and paste it over here <laughs> it will be obviously zero percent yeah so it's cool if i just take on the total it will be 337 only but then uh, if i'm taking a round off maybe in the nearest part let's take 337 so if i take a total of taxes guys it will be 337 plus 80 plus 2264 so that means this is my total tax on which i am supposed to pay the liability so this becomes my income tax liability students you need to know this you need to know this if you don't know this then though it is not good okay so we need to know this so this becomes my income tax liability and i hope we could manage it very easily so yeah students if i'm going it with this format i will be fetching directly 12 marks and i think nothing was difficult in this we could easily score 12 marks over here yes yeah okay is there anything left in this answer so yeah if you remember there was part c also what was part c yeah there was two marks question yeah for that nic nic topic so am i going to get anything for nic am i going to get anything for nic so again you have to remember the nic is calculation the nic is calculation yeah zero to uh, like uh, 1250 yeah in the first question also i did zero to 12570 okay i can show you maybe i cannot copy but i can show you for nic's calculation it's a class one employees right it's a class one employees so yeah we have to just take that thing i'll show you huh uh, so on and on now this question is coming a lot right so you have to know national insurance contribution 1 to 12570 it's nil more than 1250 is 571 250 270 it's 13.25 percent and beyond that it is 3.25 percentage right now over here what is my salary expected so it's like 70 to 800 right my expected salary over here it's 70 to 800 but for whom but for whom guys yeah okay cool 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 let me just check the question where it is 70 to 800 now what was the question okay Achha, what is Achha, this is visible on your screen Achha, i thought over here if you can check out the question compute over here compute the tax amount for the employee class 1 nic the dom is going to sub for okay in the respect of the tax for the coming upcoming year so what is the expected salary over here it's 76 800 okay in that he is getting a cash salary so maybe what i can do is i can just make the slabs okay so that will be available in your exam but over here just i'm making it fast it will be 12 to like uh, 1 to 570 and it will be like 1 to 571 to it will be it will, sorry it will be going like 50 270 50 270 if it is going beyond that so what is my expected salary 7 to 800 okay if this is a situation what is the taxes what is the taxes taxes are over here zero percent over here it's going to be 13.25 percent and uh, at the end it is going to be 3.25 percent so yeah students what will i be taxed at so we know initially over here if it is zero so it will be zero only zero percentage will be zero students what's the difference between that 50 to 50 yeah so 50 to 70 minus 12 570 okay will be this amount and on that i have to pay 13.25 percentage tax which is going to be this 4995 and over here the difference of 70 to 850 to 70 will be the slabs on that i will pay 3.25 percentage tax over here it will be zero so if i take up the total of my taxes my taxes are gonna be 5727 7 will be my tax for nic okay will be my tax for nic i hope that was fine so yeah they have asked us in the uh, two marks questions so we could make it okay cool 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 is there any other question they have figured us no so i hope everything was very easy yeah is everything fine so i hope there is no issue with this question also so we could successfully manage this question now i will tell you like what was the crux of this question so in these they have tested like two employees okay in the two employments we had an uh, job 
so in both the ways we are going to get salary okay both the places we are going to get salary but like for different different months so i am going to account what is my salaries months what i have worked in that company okay accordingly i will take my portion then i have to check whatever further things i have got it is there any exemptions so basically na taxes are only like for tax we have to only concentrate on two parts whether am i getting it or whether am i expending it if i am getting it it will be my income whether am i expensing it it will be my expenses if i am getting my income whether am i claiming any exemptions so that my income could be reduced or if it is my expense whether am i getting any reimbursement for that so that i can show if i am getting some income whether is something which is allowed or disallowed so my income tax revolves around two things it's income and expenses but then benefits and exemptions if i am getting some benefits it's good if i am getting some exemptions it's good if i'm getting some deduction it's good if i'm getting some allowances it's good but then if i'm getting some disallowance maybe my tax liability will increase and so on i hope you guys will have understood these questions very well and yeah guys this is the way the paper may be tested the income tax liability and uh, with our knowledge i think it was very easy so this is what i have already taught you in the class so this is all what i already taught you how we are going to calculate the pref uh, the uh, personal allowances the total allowances my tax liability my income zero so yeah i hope it was easy let's take a break of 5 minutes and we'll resume it thank you
so yeah after completion of two questions let us start with the third question again so yeah even this third question is being tested from our papers right okay so in this third question now yeah i have changed a lot question in that based on the current figures okay just let it get open okay yeah i am telling you all sorry again students because maybe i'll sneeze a lot <laughs> yeah i got the allergic so maybe okay yeah just a minute ha huh? wait so opening now let me confirm that it should be opened yeah i think it's visible i'll just make it more big Okay, students. <coughs> now this is a question. Now this is a question which is being tested for like very good marks, and only it is having only one requirement. If like in any of the questions, now guys, when there is only one requirement, we need to analyze that this question is to be taken care of very well. By by maybe there could be only one question consisting of many adjustments, guys. Consisting of many adjustments. So every adjustment you all have to take care very very very. Well, properly, okay. So, if this is a situation, let's figure it out. What are the questions that they have tested? Okay, based on some profits. Okay, what have they asked us? Okay, so notes for each of the seven uh, taxes and some NIC figures calculated. Find out the income tax figures. You should assume the rates of the corporation tax remains unchanged. So now, whenever there is a question, if you prefer, like this is what I used to do it. Maybe. you can also do it when not just in the taxes not just in the taxes in other questions also in other subjects also in other papers also first we need to start reading the question yeah what are the requirements once i read the requirements i will analyze i will analyze that oh this concept is going to hit which chapter this concept is going to hit which questions okay so then i can go in that fashion i can understand my question in this fashion but what i end up doing is I start reading the exhibit, 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 exhibit. Then I come to question. Then I don't know what they have actually asked. Yeah. So we can do this way also. We can read what have they asked, and then we can go ahead and read the question accordingly. Analyze it accordingly. Okay. Let us go and read the first question now. Okay. The scenario relates to one of the requirements. Okay. So what is their one requirement? so if it is just one requirement again students we need to take care of very well because maybe there could be a chances that you may make a mistake so need not worry need not worry it is again easy so yeah go okay, okay we can start yeah just give me a minute okay let me start with the third question okay. this is again a big question ha huh, that we need to take care okay you should assume that today's date is 25th march 2022 okay You are a trainee, chartered accountant. Okay, dealing with the tax affairs of Fleur Company. Okay, which is the company's name? That is Fleur Company. Is a company. Okay, the Fleur Company has been self-engaged, self-employed. Okay, students, this is March and June 2022 paper. Okay, March 22 and uh, March and June 22 paper. That is basically for 22, 23. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Fleur has been a self-employed. Guys, we have up till now did a employment question. What is self-employed? Yeah. i hope everybody knows it that means he is engaged maybe in the business or maybe in the profession that means he is going to have maybe a trading income so if it is a trading income so accordingly he have to pay taxes is he a business is he into a business like i have to check is he the sole proprietor is he the sole trader so accordingly we have to analyze okay so there is a uh, like a trading with affairs of fluid company so fluid company has been self employed since last 6 years and had previously asked you to calculate whether it is beneficial to incorporate her business that means we have to check we have to check this whether he wants to incorporate a business the new limited would be a flower limited that means actually he is a self employed like he is doing a business now he is doing a business or trading now he wants to incorporate into a company that means he is an individual he is an individual doing the business but now he wants to compare now he wants to do the business according to the incorporate basically as per the corporation tax so is it beneficial that he should come to incorporation tax the basically corporation tax 
whatever he is doing with an individual transaction will it be better so we know that when it is a corporation tax it is going to be like 19 percentage taxes which have to pay that i told you it has not been changed but in of the questions we are going to solve the question so okay we can go ahead with that what have they asked us Fluor operating as a sole trader. Okay, if fuel company or the fuel person is operating as a sole trader, her forecast tax for the next year's trading profit was one lakh. Okay, so they thought that if she is acting as a sole trader in the next year, she'll be earning one lakh. Okay, as a profit, and accordingly they have given in the question itself if this is a profit, so she'll be acquiring like this. Maybe this all will be the income that she'll be earning. Okay. If fluid company was operating as a limited company, she expected, she forecasted that if she is acting as a company, so just imagine, if she is acting as a limited company, she'll change her company's name into Flower Limited, yeah? And that Flower Limited forecasted that after adjusting the trading profits or whatever it is, she'll be having again one lakh pound as an income after taking into account of the fluids direction remuneration, director's remuneration of 35,000. Guys, what is it? what is it yeah <clears throat> if you know if you know what concept yeah if you know the concept see students see students see students i'll explain you very slowly or very slowly when it is trading okay when it is trading or business income we need to pay income taxes yeah we need to pay income taxes if i'm doing any business on that what am i getting in earnings my earnings are known as net savings yeah it's my savings is it my savings no ma'am it's your non-savings why it's your non-savings because you are going to work on that. You are going to get the hardened money. So along with that, what am I getting? If you remember, if you guys remember your non-savings and when you are into a business, you get class 2 and class 4 benefits of NIC. Yes, do you remember? You get a class 2 and class 4 benefits of NIC. If you want to check, you can see class 2 and class 4 benefits are given to those who are actually dealing with, who are dealing with their businesses. And class 1 is for employees. Class 1 is for employees. Class 1, second part is for employer benefit. But if you are getting something in cash, you have to check out the NIC. Basically, class 2 and class 4 is to be taken care. Then we are doing a business. If you want to see, I will just show you for the months. Yeah, over here. When it is NIC, guys. When it is NIC. When it is NIC. When it is NIC. Class 1 over here, class 1 is to be given when to the employee, to the employee. So yeah, this will be the bands. Students, these bands is exactly, it's exactly the bands which are same over here in class 4 also. So I don't know like some, uh, yeah, but then bands are same. The bands are same, but the rates, only this rate is different. Only 10.25 and 13.25 is different. Okay. Maybe now. This is for employees. Class 1 is for employer also. Maybe employees allowances we have to take. Then class 1A is directly given at the rate of 15.04. Then we know class 2 and class 4. Now both these classes are to be applicable to whom? If I am doing any business. That's all. Okay. Now let's assume what have they further asked us in the question. What have they further asked us in the question? Okay. After taking. Okay. 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 Yeah. After incorporation. What they thought? What they thought now? For? What is their expectation? They want to now convert their proprietorship or the sole business from that they want to convert it into a business. That means they want to now incorporate a limited company. See students, this is important. Huh? Now they want to incorporate into a limited company. That means they want not to pay the taxes as per individual rates. Now they are interested to pay taxes as per corporate rates. If it is corporate tax, students, it will be 19 percentage, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that means finally they want to be like a limited company. And the limited company will be the employer. Okay, if it is an employer, which NIC comes into picture? Man, the national insurance at employer one, situation one. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Now, if I have created a company before I was a sole owner. Now what can i be for that company i can be both the ways i can be a director in that company if i can be a director the company the employer and the employee relationship will be there guys 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 wait 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 what i'll do now i'll just formulate all these things what am i writing yeah what am i writing i'll just formulate the things why because maybe today 
you may be understanding the concept but maybe if you want to just revise it on and on so whatever things you have written now it becomes easy so initially now it's a trading company yeah. it's a trading company where suppose i am the sole trader i am the sole trader if i am the sole trader now students what will be applicable for me i will be earning something that is known as a non saving so if it's a non saving that means because of the hard work you are going to get earnings yeah because of the hard work you are going to get the earnings so yeah that was the in the non savings what will i be getting an nic for guys i will be getting nic okay i will be getting which class nic so i will be getting class 2 i will be getting class 2 and class 4 nic and class 4 nic also will be getting now after the trading i just wanted to incorporate a company that means i want to incorporate a company so i want to enter into a corporation tax okay i want to enter into a corporation tax which is again 18 percentage so a new company has been framed guys a new company which was flower limited okay so a new company has been incorporated so finally flower limited has been incorporated incorporated okay if it has been incorporated then to compulsory students they have to pay 19 percentage tax which is something which we know already right okay that is something which we know 19 percentage but now what can we be for that company that is company is already having a separate legal identity and we are different from the company right so over here we can be known as an employee and they can be known as an employer if i want to enter into an employee employer relationship that company in that company i should be either a director so if i want to enter into an employer employee relationship i can be either two things i can be either both the ways what ma'am you can be either uh employee yeah so you can be having an employee employer relationship so with that you can be a director yeah or you can either be a shareholder of that company so yeah by being both the ways i will be connected with the employee right i will be complete i will be connected with the employee guys if i am a director what will i be getting yeah so over here if i am a director there will be an employer employee relationship right but if i am a shareholder what am i what will i be getting guys we will be getting what dividend right so we will be provided with the dividend guys if i am getting any dividend is nic applicable on that no 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 ma'am it is like for the employee employee relationship only so here no nic no nic no nic is applicable and over here if it is a director wala situation to nic may be applicable so we need to work it accordingly okay so over here i'll be getting dividend so i have to pay taxes on the dividend yeah so that is something which we already know okay let's go further what have they asked us in the question so yeah in the question now they have told that they have assumed that okay 1 lakh will be your forecasted income so on that they have prepared their statements their incomes let's see what we are going to do let's see what are we supposed to calculate okay so they thought they thought that <coughs> their adjusted income maybe that uh, future forecast income will be 1 lakh okay and the flower limited's forecast they have taken like after taking into account <coughs> oh my god i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry this would be my like first video where i am teasing it so much So yeah, we'll not take so much ahead. Yeah, but then obviously, if we have started with this question, we need to complete it. Okay. After taking account of the Fleur Directors' remuneration of thirty-five thousand pounds and the related employees' Class One NICs of three eight nine eight, so already they have given in the question the Class One NIC is given three eight uh, three eight nine one of uh, nine eight. Hey, why they have given three eight nine eight? Because we know. when it is employee employer relationship employer getting that class 1 benefits isn't it so yeah employer has to get its class 1 benefit yeah so employer do get this class 1 benefit so yeah there it is so if i just give you the percentages so percentages we obviously know percentages we obviously know the class 1 class 2 class 3 because it is always given in your exam questions that's all now if this goes ahead if this goes ahead what will be my profit which i am expecting yeah which i am expecting what will be the profit on which i have to book my fluid company if it is like self employed or if it is like they want to turn around and not being just a self employed but now they want to be a incorporated situation in the 
company so yeah let's let's go ahead and calculate it accordingly okay this is 61106 means 1 lakh minus the uh, expenses remuneration and they thought your income will be 61102 okay cool what have they given fluid company has withdrawn 45000s for the company as a profit okay and paid a dividend for that okay so the company uh, would have been a uh, withdrawn 45000 of the company's profit as dividend and no other sources of income cool 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 based on the figures you established that there was no tax benefits uh, from the company as it was higher and the uh, supporting liabilities were corrected actually so what they ended up doing is they have created like this what they expected so they created like this if they operate okay if they operate as a sole trader i'm just making it with red and if they operate as a company if they operated as a company so that will be this okay so i'll make it big maybe i'll also make it big so if a company operates as a sole trader the income over here income tax will be 24 fourth uh, so yeah, this has some expenses so 27 432 class 2 over here we know when it is a sole trader so they have to pay both the classes employer like yeah so class 2 will be and once uh, over here 164 class 4 will be 5480 so if i take a total it's this if a company operates as a company limited its income tax expenses will be 15 681 then class 1 will be 2972 employees class will be 3898 and corporation tax will be this so if i take a total it will be 34160 changes to the forecast figure now students now the question actually comes so this is what they have already made us made this things for us over here fluid company has just signed a contract with the new customer and has revised the forecast okay so before that now she was expecting that this much will be the profit like 1 lakh and accordingly they have made some expenses and yeah they have returned whatever they thought that they have to make a payment now because she has signed a contract with a new customer her expectations are going to change if she is thinking that if i am operating as a sole trader if i am operating as a sole trader maybe rather than 1 lakh i may get 135 oh ma'am so her expectations are going to change yes if her expectations are going to change maybe she if she is earning actually more than 1 lakh actually more than 1 lakh then what will be her trading profit guys i'll just write i'll just write her trading profit will be now 135 will she get any personal allowances so guys you remember that if your if your earnings is more than 1 lakh then your personal allowances are reduced how much you are going to get something not and if you guys still remember if your pounds if you're getting more than 125 140 went to no personal allowances but yeah we can solve any which ways we can solve okay so let us solve whether am i getting any income tax benefits or not okay but then if she is operating in a limited company okay another one so first first if i'll talk about this if like let me make the solution over here only okay 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 pat ke baad like i have to uh, solve the question if i am doing the uh, like let's write over here Like whether I have written over here any answer? Yeah. So yeah, what savings she is getting? What allowances they are getting? Everything? Yeah. So let's write solution. Let's write solution. That is sole trader. If she is acting as a sole trader, if she is acting as a sole trader, now she is estimating that her future forecast will not be one lakh. It will be one thirty-five. Yeah. So what are the things she is going to take? Yeah. So she'll be having some expenses like what? It could be like income taxes. Yeah, ma'am. Sure. Income taxes she has to pay. Guys, we know if it is a sole trader, she has to also pay some NICs. So what is the NIC, ma'am? She has to pay for class two, which is fixed. Class four, which is also fixed. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Again, if she is operating as a, if she is operating as a, as a company. Then what are the expenses that she has to pay? Again, she is expecting that okay, she has to get the one thirty five. Then we have to book a provision for like a remuneration for the director. Yeah, director. Okay, that is something which we'll read the question again. Okay. Yeah. The forecast suggested now that she will be getting one thirty five only. Director's remuneration will not be changed. Will be thirty five only. That is a very good news, you know. the director's remuneration is not changing that means it is as it is if it is as it is 
then the things are going to be easy because then there is no need to change any other classes also so if it is going to be the same if the director's remuneration is going to be the same the class one the employer employer relationship will also be the same so if you check here if you check here the employees contribution over your nic will be the same yes employers over here will also be the same so that is again a good thing yeah let's figure it out what have they told but the fluid will increase the dividend takeover from flower to 70000 okay so there is a difference because they want to take over something as a dividend cool 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 Fleur wants to know whether the additional 35,000 of the profit will now meet, will it be beneficial? Means initially what they thought now, what they thought, my earnings was this much 1 lakh and this was my expenditure. So initially thought that if I am operating as a sole trader, I am at a benefit. Why? They are thinking, okay, only this much expenditure. But over here, if it is a corporate tax, this much benefit. So maybe they think that initially trading is better than being a corporate tax. But now they want to know because of this 35,000 change, can I switch that? Can I switch that? So yeah, we can go ahead and we can write the answers. Solution over here. Yeah. Charu, let us start writing. Okay, let's start writing. Okay, we can go ahead with the solution. Yeah, so yeah, we can write it. For solution, for solution, if you remember what I got extra, students, I was already having, I have already booked an income tax. I have booked an income tax on how much? On the profit of 1 lakh, I would have booked. This is my income tax. But now from 1 lakh, if it has already reached to 135, so don't you think additionally for 35,000, you have to book the class 4 yeah yeah ma'am we have to book for class 4 also so chalo 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 additionally we are supposed to book so yeah we can go ahead and write the solution that is for sole trader class 4 expenditure over here i can write class 4 that is what 35,000 is increased ma'am and if you remember students uh, there was a sheet there was a sheet if you are getting any income more than 52 71 so then your percentage your total is 130 1 so it's obviously more right so it will be 3.25 percentage so here yes, students if i multiply it this is my situation which is 1137 i hope you are understanding this yeah i am hoping that you are getting these things but 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 ma'am is it just this much no ma'am already you were having for one lakh yeah wow. for one lakh it was 5480 so yeah this is additional so 5480 was there for one lakh so if you're taking the total this will be my total now that is 6617 okay i'll make over here now things with the main answer which will be bold which is blue cool i hope you guys understood this yeah will my income tax change will my income tax change obviously ma'am it should change will my nic for two is going to change but nothing nothing change for that so ma'am that is going to be like no change it will be as it is 164 164 okay will there be any change so ma'am no so it will be 164 as it is no worries but what about income tax change for if i'm talking about income tax we need to know the solution okay i'll just delete it we can do here only working we can do working here only for income tax calculations for income tax my examiner has told that uh, okay remaining for self employed okay we can take that trading profit okay what is my trading profit my trading profit over here is now 1 lakh 35 cool we know students that if it is more than uh, 1 lakh so there will be some changes for personal allowances because nothing else is given but if it is less than 1 lakh full 12 570 so we used to give now if it is more than 1 lakh what are we supposed to find ma'am we have to find the adjust net income yeah a and i yeah adjusted net income so that will be 135 we have to minus it from the expected value that is basically 1 lakh yeah we'll get the difference guys we'll get the difference on the difference we know 50 percentage of the pa is disallowed yeah guys so what is the 50 percent which is disallowed students if 17,000 and 500 is disallowed if 17500 is disallowed so how much will be allowed ma'am you are actually getting a max pa which is just 12570 and you are obviously disallowving 7500 
तो मैम नथिंग इज अलाउड गाइज यू शुड गेट दैट क्लिक थिंग या इफ आई एम हैविंग एनी इनकम दैट इज़ वन ट्वेंटी फाइव वन फोर्टी या इफ इट इज हैविंग एनी थिंग वन फोर्टी फाइव वन ट्वेंटी तो नथिंग इज अलाउड येस 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 या सो यू शुड गेट अ हिंट देर सो वी आर नथिंग इज अलाउड सो नो 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 अलाउड नो पी ए जीरो इफ देर इज नो पी ए देन वॉट इज देर आई कैन बुक माई टेक्सीबल इनकम एट वॉट अमाउंट सो नाउ माई टेक्सीबल इनकम विल बी इक्वल टू वन थर्टी फाइव इट सर्व अग्री या 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 नाउ द स्टूडेंट्स इट्स वेरी ईजी लाइक या वी हैव टू पे टैक्सेज ऑन दैट ऑबियसली इफ आई हैव टू पे टैक्सेज स्टूडेंट्स वट आर माई स्लैब्स या सो या मैम वी आर हैविंग टू स्लैब्स बिकॉज इट इज नॉट अ नॉर्मल टैक्स पेयर इट इज अ हायर टैक्स पेयर इफ इट इज अ हायर टैक्स पेयर वट इज माई इनकम बाई फर केटेड टू आई एम सो सॉरी वट इज माई टैक्स ओवर यर देर आर टू स्लैब्स मैम जीरो टू थ्री डबल सेवन डबल जीरो एंड ओवर इट इज मोर देन दैट सो बेसिकली थ्री डबल सेवन जीरो वन टू वन फिफ्टी या सो वट इज माई इनकम ओवर यर मैम माई इनकम विल बी थ्री डबल सेवन डबल जीरो हियर इट विल बी मैम दिस माइनस दिस ऑन विच आई हैव ऑलरेडी टैक्सड सो ओवर यर इट विल बी मैम ट्वेंटी परसेंटेज कूल इट विल बी मैम ओवर यर फिर फोर्टी परसेंटेज इफ आई जस्ट टेक माई टोटल डोंट यू थिंक आई विल गेट माई टैक्सेस या ओबियसली सो माई टैक्स लाइबिलिटी विल बी दिस माई टैक्स लाइबिलिटी ओवर यर इज गोन बी दिस इज इट मैम ओनली दिस मच और समथिंग एल्स ऑल्सो यू ऑल हैव टू एड सो फैन टेक ऑन द टोटल माई लाइबिलिटी ओवर यर इज गोन बी फोर सिक्स या जस्ट गिव मी अ मिनट फोर सिक्स फोर सिक्स जीरो या सो वी आर गेटिंग फोर सिक्स फोर सिक्स जीरो विल बी माई टैक्स लाइबिलिटी which i think we got it very easily and that was uh, like yeah very easy na it was something hard in that so for the completion of this it is very easy so this becomes my liability so now this liability is also to be added as an expense 46460 so what i can do is over here if i'm talking about this solution guys yeah if i'm talking about this solution the income tax is also to be added so over here i am supposed to add this figure 46460 so if i now take the total what is my total expenses which i can show it over here guys that becomes 5353241 so now it is more right is it 53241 okay so now this is something which i need to compare it whether to be in the trading is better or whether to be going into the corporation thing that is registering as a company is better so yeah this though i don't think there was any problem in that so yeah the concept of sole trader becomes very easy yeah so because we have already covered a lot of individual taxes so i don't think there is any difficulty in doing so yes can we move ahead yeah let us read the question again and then i can show you the solutions how they have created in the answers yeah so no worries no worries no worries they don't worry okay so let us read again so yeah over here income tax is yeah ma'am there was a change so that we put but for class 2 and ic's ma'am nothing has been changed but for class 4 and ic's ma'am there was an addition change because of 35000 which was been added so yeah we added that what have they asked us now in the question for operating as a limited company okay if i'm operating as a limited company the forecast of the tax has been changed now it is not 1 lakh it's 135 and because of the change i have to book some extra income but students if it is a company we know there are two types of an income there they get some non saving also yeah and they could be some dividends or savings also over here the director's remuneration will be as it is so then there will be no change in which amount so yeah in their classes now there will be no change right yes so now when like how am i supposed to show income just to make me big yeah let me make it big so yeah let us first of all calculate how are they going to show they are working as an income tax ka calculations so yeah they are having some dividend uh, directors remuneration and some flower has been increased so yeah dividends okay let's go ahead with the working of the second well, second point wait a minute in corporation that is in corporation like if i am going to have an in corporation If I'm going to have the incorporation of that flower company, so what will I do? The first, first of all, I have to copy as it is whatever is given in the question. That is, I want to figure out all those things, ma'am. So yeah, income tax, class one NIC, class one NIC. Oh uh, yeah, again one and yeah, employer and employee and corporation tax. So yeah, let us write individually. That is income tax. 
then over here it will be employees class one employees class one nic there will be employers class one nic yeah employers class one nic cool then is there anything else yeah we are having corporation tax also is to be paid isn't it yeah corporation tax okay chalo that is obviously 19 percentage that we all know the first thing is what guys we need to calculate the working note for income tax okay first it's income tax okay guys so what will i calculate for income tax is there is any change in the income tax so yeah ma'am we know maybe director's remuneration is there yeah ma'am and actually dividend also yes yeah so we can make a working note here students if you remember what is nss ma'am ns means non-saving so if i'm giving anything to the director's remuneration it is a non-saving so we can write director's remuneration and if you remember in the question my director remuneration has not been changed it's again a very good news so let us write thirty-five thousand for that okay is there any change for dividend ma'am okay if you can check out for dividend there is as such no situation but they have given the valuation of the dividend is yeah now it's 40 uh, 70 000 yeah okay chalo let us write now dividend at 70 000 so what becomes my total income ha yeah, ma'am we know now my total income is very easy now ah, this is how we have to do for corporation tax guys you know now my total income now is basically 35 000 35,000 and 70,000 which comes up at 105,000 yeah cool 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 on these whether I'll be getting any personal allowances yeah ma'am something personal allowance so you should get isn't it yeah can you get full personal allowances of like 12,570 so then we know ma'am my total income is something exceeding 1 lakh ma'am so maybe the possibilities are lesser that you get complete 12,570 yeah exactly so what will I get? Personal allowances. Okay, I can check it over here. My PA. My over here. Personal allowances. Kele. First thing I have to calculate is ANI. If I'm calculating ANI, my adjusted net income, my total income will be this. I have to carry on that one. Yeah. What is my limits? What my limits? Limits are restricted to 1 lakh. Yeah. Hmm. So something extra, ma'am. This is an excess amount this is excess and excess we have to calculate what 50 percentage guys 50 percentage so 50 percentage on this is students it's disallowed so this much expenditure is disallowed not expenditure this much personal allowances is disallowed so yeah this is disallowed not allowed so again you tell me how much is allowed so my total personal allowances is always 12 570 cool now from that if i'm reducing any disallowed Obviously, I can get the allowed. So, minus 2500. So, this much is allowed. Guys, this much is an allowable expenses. I think this is a PA which is allowed. Understood? The 10070. Students, if this much is allowed, on what should I deduct? So, ma'am, can I deduct this uh, like uh, on the dividend? Can I deduct it on dividend? No. So, that is also not allowed. Yeah, we know how much it is allowed. Yeah. First of all, you have to deduct it from the non savings the hierarchy isn't it so yeah this is my income after understanding the income i can deduct my pa which is 10070 so we can deduct only this much that is 10070 after deducting that can you tell me what will be my taxable income now students my taxable income is now going to be 35000 minus this if I copy this and I paste it over here, this will be the situation. So now, students, my net taxable income will be 94,000. Is it so, ma'am? No, ma'am. You remember one thing more? Ma'am, we get some 2,000 deduction also from the dividend situation. Yeah, yes, yes. So that is something which we have to show. So yeah, let us show that too. Okay. Okay. Okay, just give me a minute if I can correct it. Yeah. Okay. So fine, fine, fine. Okay. Now students from this, now I am supposed to pay the taxes. So Charuna, let us pay taxes. Let's pay taxes for non-saving. Okay. This is my non-saving. Okay. Okay. I'll just write it over here only. For the taxes for non-saving. Taxes for non-saving. 
my amount is this my profit is this can you tell me what much tax i have to pay students in which band it is coming is it coming in first band or second band mm. so that is again important students that is coming in the first band 0 to 377 so if it is coming in the first band students directly 20% tax you can pay isn't it yeah so this much is my tax liability whatever is my tax liability i'm keeping it purple yep yeah? so this becomes my first tax liability and i hope this is clear with you all so yeah 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 ma'am 20 percentage to we pay ma'am what about dividend ma'am over here dividend if i'm talking about dividend my dividend valuation is 70000 yeah cool 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 but out of that you remember first 2000 it is zero percentage yes then whatever is the difference yeah band that is 10770 you will be getting like 8 some valuation like uh, 8.75 yeah if you can check out uh, the valuation which is present in the question or like you'll be pre-populated given to you all so yeah on that you can multiply 8.75 percent and the later will be 33.75 percentage the remaining one yes so let us bifurcate that thing okay okay chalo let us do from there okay if i can just do 2000 2000 out of that 2000 into zero percentage will be there yeah so it will be zero then on that later on it will be 10 770 into how much percentage guys how much percentage it is 8.75 percentage so if i just multiply it it will be 10 770 into 8.75 by 100 so it is 942 yes then over here the leftover situation will be 5 7 230 into we'll be having how much okay 5 7 230 will be uh second band so yeah it is obviously gonna be 33.75 percentage so it becomes 57230 into 33.75 divided by 100 so it's gonna be this so if i just take the total i'll be getting a taxes of 257 yeah 2257 cool 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 so taking it to the roundabout so it's 2258 yeah students so that is my what taxes i have to understand so 25 240 three maybe is it something wrong which we made it nothing yeah okay now we need to take a total of the taxes that is 20 plus 4986 so this is my total taxes or i can say my income tax over here so in the income taxes when i calculate for the corporation as such i can get 25 25 2 five two four three like points maybe points because of that okay cool 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 now if i want to compare it now if i want to compare it which is better guys which is better <laughs> i think it was very simple like i don't know what to be explained in this now further though it's very simple yeah i can just check my above question over here i was having the tax liability of this seven five seven four and my total liability stood at fifty three two five five and over here it's the real list so maybe now this will be the situation that's all so okay now we can just put our figures now we can just put our figures in this yeah what will be my income tax so yeah just now i got my income tax will be 25244 yeah is my class one employee going to change no ma'am it's going to be the same so if you can check out in the previous question it is given 2972 yeah ma'am it will be the same over here also but employers also it's not going to change because the remuneration is not changed so yeah it's going to be exactly the same but ma'am what about corporation tax yeah then students for corporation tax you have earned in the current year 35,000 yeah on that the 19 percent you have to pay okay so which becomes 35,000 into 19 by 100 so it's going to be 6650 so i can write 6650 but that is ma'am only for 35 percentage but what about one lakh Achha, they have given na, in the previous year for one lakh it is one one six zero nine okay so it's one one six zero nine plus six six five zero current year so it's eighteen two fifty nine okay cool so that means if i take up the total my total will be the sum up of all this which should always be maybe okay it's fifty three seventy three so now if i compare this and if i compare this over here this is more beneficial isn't it if this is more beneficial now we can say okay it's better that the company in the current year can go ahead with the corporation tax means now they can actually book it as a company yeah 
<laughs> I'm so so sorry. Guys, I think you understood it, isn't it? Yeah. Was it easy? I think it was manageable. <laughs> Just give me a minute. <laughs> if I show you the solutions now, which is there in the paper, which is there in the paper, it is very, very, very predated. Okay. So the amount, the percentage and everything is <laughs> old. Okay. That is old. So yeah, we can revise it and solve it accordingly. I hope you guys have clearly understood this question also. So yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. I think everything was fine. You guys have understood it very well. So yeah, with these we have completed three questions for the day. And accordingly, yeah, it was easy also. And again, it was manageable. So if you check students, it was like worth 10 marks, 15 marks. And yeah. So complete 40 marks question we did like section C. Yeah, for section C we ended up. And I don't think there was any difficulty in that. But still, guys, if you have any difficulty and if you feel that the concepts are difficult, guys, you should work on that. Because if you are having examination this September, so the time is actually very less. Yeah, so the time is actually very less. But then if you're planning to give maybe in the December or maybe in the March, I already told you all that in the first revision series that you all are planning to give maybe in this March, then that is not good. Then that is not good. Why? because maybe in the june the portion will be changed again so try to give in the september or maybe in the december right not for the first time please never give in the march so yeah this is all what we could manage for like three questions a day and just imagine like what short period we were able to complete this so yeah again it was cool i hope you guys would have understood it so yeah if you want we can go ahead yeah we want we can go ahead maybe we can just see what are the things which we are available okay so you just see now how much things were useful for us yeah today we could use so many things so students yeah that is something which we know the things are going to be for corporate tax it's going to be 19 only which is fixed which is fixed prop which is fixed 19 as i told you now it's not changed the things are not changed for cards question comes up for cards question is going to come motor cards and uh, fuel benefits car benefits I have seen like many questions so we cannot ignore that it's easy and obviously after reading it so much time income taxes to rates so you would have learned it maybe by heart and this is what is a dividend rate means if my income is between this my dividend if I'm getting so it should be taxed on this initially for first 2000 so you are not going to be taxed for savings if it is higher tax rate if it is a payer of higher tax rate you did in the first question I was getting only 700 pounds but then for initial 500 there was no tax yeah students we need to know that so we need to know that if i if i have just been even once or twice maybe if i have just seen this now i can like quickly analyze it where if they asked us so not on and on we have to check out the papers such a where they have tested where they have tested so by practice we gradually get these things okay so i think uh, questions were easy and uh, uh, do you want me to show the solution yeah let's let's one see the solution also yeah again i told you now the solution yeah and no, i don't want to save i don't want to save maybe this also i don't want to save no i told you now the solutions are different why because uh it's predated isn't it but then we can get an idea of how they are going to give us the marks the marking system yeah so people have a phobia that ma'am uh maybe yeah, if my initial answer is wrong so ma'am will all my marks be deducted no for individual statements like for individual uh, solutions for individual transactions you're going to get the marks so need not worry for that so that's the reason i prefer more section c than section a and b because if it is right if it is right it is right two marks pakka for mc gives the over here if and if it is wrong for stepwise marking also you're going to get it okay just i'm opening my cbe platform again i think it is visible just let me check the visibility if it is on okay <coughs> see uh, i don't know students how you guys are so much of obsessed with the cbe but i am super obsessed with the cbe platform and the acca resources because it is very beautiful because it is very beautiful again i know for taxes atx atx and tax the things becomes predated but any which ways the questions are same 
the questions are there right we just have to apply the new changes that is already there with us yeah what are the changes so for practice it is cool but yeah blindly following their answer will not work huh? because the things are changed that's all yeah i just need to just need to check it for once I know my password in like yeah it is always once within once now my password will not work I don't know why I I literally don't know why oh my god even if it is not working cool <laughs> oh why it's taking a long time I don't know because it is not mine no? so I don't remember maybe caps in something like that okay will work okay students i have already shown you the first question right so we can check the marks okay we can check the self marking in that self marking we can test around we have did this paper we have also did this paper right now one question okay if it is september 2023 i just want to know how am i uh, like obliged to give my papers how am i supposed to write my answer so this all working so you think ma'am should i show all this workings what you have shown it see any which ways working will be getting marks so try to show your workings also yeah i think it is visible i am showing you the sample answers for the first question are you able to see i will just now make it thoda sa big i will make it thoda sa big the answer if you can check out the first answer for elisa for elisa right i don't know whether you are able to see or not just thoda sa big i made it over here that elisa one question guys elisa was been tax benefit with 2200 guys it was not 15% it was 16% because we know the rates have been changed the rates have been changed so this is what i was talking to you that the changed so accordingly we have to work along with that students just see if i'm reducing the mark i'm reducing just see by writing only one statement by writing only one statement guys you are getting one marks you are getting one marks so why not isn't it why not same you tutorial notes they have given see if you check the tutorial notes it's very good it's very good why because that will help us to understand acha why if this is taken why this is not taken you know in the question it was written even if this thing is not allowed you all have to write no matter you can figure it out zero but right so everything i am supposed to write okay everything i am supposed to write second question over here also just by writing this much you fetch 3 marks third question also so yeah that is 10 marks so if i get if i am getting this figure ma'am correct okay if getting this figure correct ma'am this figure wrong still guys you are like getting half of our one marks so just understand scoring is very easy in taxation scoring is very easy seriously students scoring is very easy for dorm also we calculated isn't it the abacus company yeah everything we calculated for abacus everything we calculated for this workplace nursery it was zero but still guys just imagine zero also if i wrote getting half marks getting half marks for that so it was been told even if it is zero guys you all have to write you all have to write because in the question it was pre printed that even if it is there or not that you all have to write why because they want us to know that whether we are knowing is it an exempt income or not so yeah we have to write it accordingly so yeah it's all 15 marks and yeah the later question i did it from other because this was again easy for corporate tax i know this is something which you guys can manage it on your own okay so that is all about for the day today okay guys if you check out the video if you have any query for the video or maybe if you all are having any concept not so clarity you can good to you are good to ask me in the chats okay will be there always and the lakshya team and i to always there with you so all the very best study hard and yeah it's a time like yeah, if you all are prepared and if you feel that these questions are ma'am very easy so students i don't know like you're going to get super marks super means very super marks that means your pace is very good and in case if you feel ma'am there are some difficulties solving this question need not worry students need not worry we have still more days like it's never too late okay so you can start your preparations with the very good positive vibes so for the day thank you we are going to solve maybe tomorrow and day after tomorrow like for the two sessions are pending now i'm going to take exact kits only so yeah that will be more beneficial for us 
so yeah thank you